Bonsoir, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, hello everyone, welcome to session 24 of Throwing Us Out Sands. Technically it's also, because of technical issues, it is going to have a bit of session 23 in it at the um, at the start because we had some tech issues, but like it's technically all going to be just one, one whole thing. Uh, just as an apology for the last session, we, we did have some tech issues. Thank you, Frankie, so much for the tier one sub. Thank you for all the support you've been showing us. Um, you've already seen the Discord. Uh, there is a bunch of homebrew that you will get access to as a sub. Um, and anyone else that is uh, subscribed to the Twitch gains access to uh, my homebrew content, all my tokens, depending on the situation. Uh, of the month because every month you get to vote if you want some tokens or if you want some homebrew content and you uh it's half of my Kofi content you can access that through the discord if you aren't already part of the discord you can uh join there also hello lucy it is party time and hello anyone else that's in chat watching away lurking or vibing and i hope you are having a wonderful evening morning or afternoon you might notice the overlay i say the overlay is a bit different the start screen is just a bit different i um, last session, uh, OBS completely crashed, so I've had to like rebuild everything. Um, so hopefully everything's back together as it was, if not better than it was beforehand. Um, but if there is something missing on the overlay, it's uh, because of that. Uh, but we shall hopefully fix that in the future. Uh, just let me know if there is an issue. Um, before we get started, I'm gonna go over our sponsors in a second. Um, our first sponsor is me. I do stuff on Kofi, as I was mentioning earlier. Um, you might have, you might, have, you'll see the tokens I use in this uh, session, and all the sessions of Throwing Top Sands and Jailhouse Rocky have been my own tokens, except for up until like, up like past the point I started making my tokens at. So I think a few sessions before Jailhouse Rocky started, but before then, all the tokens were made by Flower. Um, but now I do all the tokens and all the maps are made with two minute tabletop assets, which you can also grab on their website or uh, their Patreon. And they have a bunch of cool stuff that they use. Their Patreon's amazing. I, I'm a pledge to it because I use it for all uh, all my map asset needs. Um, but you can grab those there. No sound. Can you hit? Can you not hear me? I'm a cry. Why is those what? Give me a second. You can hear me? Oh <laughs> Panic. I'm just gonna quickly <laughs> load up Twitch for a second. Pause music for a second. So pause the music for a second. Oh no, yeah, there is sound. It's. I, it was just <laughs> not to worry, Frankie. It tech it just ain't ain't with us all lately. It, but I'm glad, I'm glad it's all fine now. And also, I hope uh, you're enjoying Sonic Frontiers. Also, um, yeah. Let me just, we were talking about Kofi and 2 Minute Tabletop. Um, the next um, little uh, bit of a sponsor stuff we do is Bard RPG. That is the um, TTRPG asset I'm working on. The, it's a genre agnostic, system agnostic tool to help assist you in your character creation, in your uh, party composition, and also building up, um, what's the word? What's the, what's the thing? What's the thing where like uh, storytelling, that's it. <laughs> this is what we're going to be doing today. Hello, Aaron. How you doing? How is your weekend going? How has your week been? It feels like forever since I last saw you. What up? Um, I hope all the streams are going well as well. I wanted to say hi. Thank you for stopping by, Aaron. I, I hella appreciate it. It's, I love you too. You are a star. And just cool as hell. I hope you're enjoying work. Or at least work's going by fast. Um, I'm just going to also shout out Knights of Sylvan because they're pretty cool. They do some cool D&D stuff. And they have a wonderfully queer cast of um, LGBT players and run by the amazing Aaron. Uh, you should go check him out. He also does a bunch of cool Star Wars stuff and you can see him all over the place uh, with our circle of uh, Twitch content creators in this little D&D &D space. 
Um, yeah, but I can still shut you out, Aaron. You, you shut your mouth. Um, as I was saying, yeah. So there's Bard RPG, um, which you can go check out if you are looking for a tool to help you with your storytelling or help you and your group um, just get that much more assistance and um, create even deeper and dive in to stronger elements of storytelling that like focus on all sorts of um, what's the word genres tropes and just ideas uh, made by a wonderful cast of yeah Bard RPG thank you Aaron made by a wonderful cast of writers artists and just creators yeah, yeah uh, do check it out um, I, do, I do some of the art for that I'll be doing some of the art for that on stream very soon um that should be ready uh, mid-2023. But uh, you'll be hearing more about that as we go there. Uh, next is DiceRoll.uk. Uh, they are a UK-based uh, dice um, distributor. They Their inventory contain a wealth of gem, gem, metal, resin, and acrylic dice. And also TTRPG accessories. They create some beautiful dice that... Or oh, they distribute beautiful dice. I've got personally my own collection of theirs has been increased considering i don't like to buy dice anymore because i have like 200 or something um i've had like my over like the past like i haven't bought dice over the past two years and then suddenly once they came into my life i now have um a r beautiful range of dice i had there's um actually to be fair i didn't buy them all they were all gifted to me but like still um but they're all dice uh, dice. There's their cat's eye, their demon eyes. Um, they have these wonderful rainbow, uh, both in pastel and in saturated colors, and um, these stunning metal dice as well. Their their collection is fabulous. I highly recommend checking them out. They're cheap, and if you are in the UK, you do get free delivery. But you also they do uh, deliver to the the US and across the world. Uh, and you, if you use the link dicerolluk slash kazadm, you will help support the stream and um, and get some cool dice. Go feed that uh, addiction, you gremlin. Next is Just Very Mundane. You know our our very own Jacob. I was meant to say Piper. Feck. <laughs> you know our Piper. Uh, he, is, um, he does a podcast with his co-host Saga. And they do a very unironic podcast where they just talk about things. They just have a good time. I learned that... Uh, so, um, Piper plays tennis I think I actually was meant to ask him I forgot I just remembered because I started listening to it recently because I have been meaning to listen to it for a while and I finally got a chance to um, yeah you should go check them out go check them out go support everything Piper does and also you should check I think Goblin King is the command I have was it Goblin King hopefully this is the command that works it isn't one of them. just check check Piper's link tree and you'll see all the stuff they do. They produce a wealth of content and they deserve all the support in the world and you should go support them. Next is Georgia Mar Jewelry. Georgia creates beautiful jewelry. They most of her stuff is uh, in silver, but she does also take custom orders of gold if you want that. Um, possibly, I think uh, not hundred percent sure on that one. I just said it, but like because I remember she was telling me that she was doing some gold casting a while back. Um, but yeah, you can grab her jewelry. She does a range of D&D themed stuff in her Silver Dragon's Hoard. She, uh, there's the Dungeon Master, the Fighter, and the Rogue uh, sets out currently, but there is a uh, plan to have more. And there's also this cute little Sleeping Dragon pendant as well that you can get. I think there's a very limited number of those on her Etsy store at the moment because um, she's very close to selling, selling out some of her stock. Uh, so if you want some of her um, wonderful jewelry for Christmas, you can grab some there. Um, and finally, there is... I'm so... Well, no, I'm so fucking sorry. We're so fucking sorry. Which is the podcast Lucille and uh, Sammy of uh, Jailhouse Rocky uh, produce, where they do a wonderfully chaotic time where they just, in little bite-sized hours, chat about the most... Mon not mundane, most random and wild of uh, topics. And... Or they start fairly simply... And then they'll dive into the wonderful tube of chaos that they have created. And you can follow them <laughs> on that one over an hour. If you are interested in that kind of wild, just 
what's the word i'm trying to find i can't think of it but yeah go check out the podcast they make they are hilarious and lucy is joining us again in this session as her character polly as uh, our group continue uh, going through otani forest as i'm just about to recap our session when i find my uh, recap so yeah anxiously investigating the party would see no other choice but to look into the crate from Kasaka factory opening it up and performing a funeral rite for those that had been solidified in uh, golden husks as uh, low nico tried to uh, find out what's inside the statue for randall and rocky only to find they are they, there was no soul left they were just solid gold transmuted uh, prisoners um, as yokai around them were roaring and just making a cacophonous din of noise i think that's that's noise of noise isn't it din din means noise and a range of mechanical groans as the party were continuing their journey through the forest um the group did also inter- attempt to interrogate the bakoran craft woman polly to learn was she uh involved with Kasakawa in any way nope she is just as confused as they are if not more so probably a lot more confused because she hasn't she just went camping she was just doing her thing in otani forest now she's being hounded by a dragon a rock man a tin man while a little girl is burning gold statues <laughs> not burning gold statues but like yeah um Ever suspicious, Randall um, was keeping a close eye on her as uh, they continued making their way through the forest as Polly told them about a bridge on the northern side of the forest that they could uh, take as they make their way to Otani because they decided to go as a group uh, where they would find a watermelon yokai, the Suika Abake, uh, defending it and challenging Rocky to a duel. Uh, to be payment if uh, if they wish to cross the bridge, uh, lo- if they lose, they would have had to give their weapons to the the watermelon. And as they're fighting the watermelon, uh, <laughs> yokai, they were also being hounded by some adaptive combat units, the ACUs um, or um, wrecks of them uh, that have uh, that have come from uh, Kasakawa. And they, uh, ch- having chased the party down, uh, and having a little, uh, scrap along with the Suika Barke, and that's where my Discord crashed. Oh, not Discord, sorry, my OBS and my entire PC crashed, and we had to end the session a bit early. So we're going to k- start the session with, uh, the Suika Barke's turn as they attack the last of the ACU units. But yeah, I'm going to... Go back to the group, uh, and then we're going to get into the intro music, and then we're going to start the stream. But, uh, well, yeah, we'll see you in a hot second, and I hope you enjoy.
Sam. Oh, I knew I forgot something. I forgot to put your ch- uh, your bubble on your head. Okay. Georgia, speak. Hello. Perfect. All right. Sorry. Also, hello, David. All right. <clears throat> hello, everyone. Hi, everyone. Welcome to session twenty-four of Throwing Top Sands. Um, before we get straight into things, we're gonna quickly just give uh, a plug to those that like people that have socials and stuff to plug. Um, <laughs> so, skipping over Sam, uh, Georgia. <laughs> Uh, hi everyone, uh, I'm Georgia. I am a bit sick, so hopefully you won't hear me cough, but if you do, I apologise. Um, anyway, I make jewellery, uh, Georgia Mar jewellery, um, and I draw art sometimes on my Instagram and Twitter as well, which, you know, which is under Lime Green Artist, and my throat is slightly dying, so I shall just leave it at that. <laughs> Jacob? Um... I'm Piper. Sorry. Uh, I Sorry. stream on uh, Twitch, twitch.tv slash PLPER. I also have a uh, podcast slash kind of thing um, that is currently on a weird hiatus, but uh, I can officially say we are coming back uh, in January. Um, and I'm excited for, for what we have planned, and I'm, I'm happy for it. Uh, I also do a uh, have a card game called uh, all hail the goblin king you can find it on instagram at all hail the goblin king um or the goblin game the goblin king game sorry um and it's a fun little strategy card game that i've been working on and would love more support so i can one day fund it uh i think that's all i do um that's i also i i have uh i want to plug the new pokemon game (laughs) Okay, it's been plugged. <laughs> wow. <laughs> I yeah, made you it. You haven't already seen it. Good job. <laughs> <laughs> we made it. Yeah, Jacob was actually involved in the creation of it. Um, next is our McClunky Squadron. Sam? Yo, I am Sam of McClunky Squadron. I'm playing Randall. One second as I switch my face. <laughs> Uh, There we do D&D and talk shows about certain shows that we're watching. Uh, And the next one we're going to be doing is Wakanda Forever, so check that out. Mm -hmm. There'll be a little shower above the stream in a hot second. I've just got to wait for a five-minute cooldown for that to come up. Next is Lucy. Hi, I'm Lucy. I'm playing Polly. I stream on Twitch. uh, twitch Twitch.tv forward slash... Than me and, <laughs> and uh, <laughs> I have a, a podcast with uh, Remove Sam, who has also been a very um, rad, cool guest on Kaz's D and D games before. It's called We're So Fucking Sorry. Um, we talk about not much <laughs> uh, in general, and um, it's it's you know it's a fun uh, sit down conversational style podcast and i actually don't know all the platforms we're on um but we're out there probably somewhere mm. <laughs> somewhere somewhere but yeah that's everyone uh i'm gonna shout lucy as well on twitch in a second so you'll see a little bar come over and chat um hit a little follow on that and support them every where everyone is at but yeah um give me a second yeah, we're going to go straight into things. I'm going to change the music. It was straight into combat because we ended last session impromptly on the Suica Abake as they went to just dash in on the remaining ACU that Lo-Fi Boy and Satoshi were uh, battling. As uh, you guys had convinced the uh, the yokai to join you in, in this fight to uh, to make the duel a bit more even. And so they rushed in. Uh, head first, about to headbutt the yokai. I mean the uh, the ACU, which has some yokai tendencies. Um, if I just put myself over here, I have the Suiko Bake do their attack. They can go in for the initial headbutt, and then three uh, katana slashes. Not three, sorry, two katana slashes on the uh, the ACU unit. And sadly, the AC unit is just a bit too fast. Although the Suica dashes in off the bridge, 
like a blur of green and purple. The ACU sees them coming and with the N Naginata catches both slashes of the um, of the, the yokai's uh, katana and then as like it like thrusts his head forward the ACU just grabs onto it and just digs its claws into as you see uh, white fire pour out of the yokai's head and um, watermelon juice just drip from the uh, from some of the uh, the wounds and we're gonna have it be that uh, initiative has started again because I don't don't think we keep kept an order for it last session let me just check before we get into this mm -hmm. is uh, the juice flowing my way yeah some goes towards you yeah mm. bear in mind you also can't hear as this is all happening because you are yeah, does it look like there. normal um, watermelon juice it does yeah can I try? Sure, roll. <laughs> but I'll try to be fancy about it. I'm like, like, curious. Yeah, you don't need to roll. I want to eat rolling. One, you just get like this little drip of watermelon juice in your mouth, and you see one of the uh, the Suica's eyes turn and watch you as you do that. And you see it like make this weird noise, or you don't see it make a weird noise. It just makes this weird grumbling noise around Yuki and Satoshi. And Polly, you can just like hear this this noise. Uh, but low five, you don't you don't get you don't see think anything's wrong with what you've just done there. Um, and I'm gonna what I'm gonna do is then we're gonna uh, have initiative start again essentially. So it's gonna pass its turn over to Rocky. What are you All doing, right. Rocky? On the bridge. Uh, I mean, I guess so. It's just the one guy left. It is, yeah. I guess. Uh, am I out of the water yet? Did I yeah. save? Oh yeah, no, uh, Randall. You push Randall out, but like you're still on under the bridge. And I guess I try to get out of the water. I mean, <laughs> I, I don't know if I gotta roll anything or what, but I'm gonna say no. You don't need to roll. You can just clamber out, dripping right. wet, just like Randall is. As there is now a hole in the bridge. Wet Rock Brothers. Um, <laughs> and then I Thank guess. Thank you for I'll, the help, Rocky. Yeah, for sure. Um, I guess I'll. I mean, <laughs> I don't know. I guess I can sprint to to go over there, but that's going to use all of my turn. Um, are y'all are y'all good? <laughs> oh, uh, I think he's deaf. Watermelon guy <laughs> speaking <his> language. <laughs> you, like, uh, you, you, yeah. no, you guys can't yeah. understand watermelon. Uh, like they, they initially were speaking in their yokai language uh, that only Randall and Lo Nico could understand. But yeah, they after they picked up the language, they did start speaking. As you go to ask, you just hear a grumbling as you see the yokai being held by the head by the ACU. All right, well, I, and I rush struggling over here. to swing. I use uh, all of my movement to get here, um, which like sprint over here so I can't really do anything else. Mm -hmm. I'm here to help. Thank Go you, Rockman. Forward. Thank you. Alright. Uh, yeah, I wouldn't want it to be unfair when we uh, when we duel later, you know, because I'm going to yes. win fair and square. That would be least honorable. Honorable. Okay. Anything else? Uh, that's the end of my turn. Uh, yeah, that's the end of my turn. So it's only Mellow Man who's gone. Mm -hmm. I guess I'll pass it to uh, Lo-Fi. Lo-Fi, it's your turn. Uh, how did it taste? <laughs> it tastes like what? gone off. Moldy water is what it tastes like. It, it tastes very sickly and very rank. Yeah, the should. Okay. Uh, Although the head of the watermelon <laughs> looks very crisp and juicy, the actual yeah, content gonna, of it is not. Don't tempt me like that. What? Uh, I'm not gonna. Oh, are something. you? You. I'm going to, um, though, uh, just, I'm in sword mode, right? Yes. Okay. So, I'm going to try to just slash at just the remaining ACU, uh, giving a side eye to, uh, what, Yuki... At the same time, you see Yuki just trying to climb out of the tree and pull itself out with all their like their bodies out, but all their tails are stuck inside. Twenty-two hits. By the way, chat. Okay. Just a reminder: you guys have channel point redemptions where you can help or hinder the party 
in a wild range of ways if you want to. 12 damage. Yeah. Um, is it still standing? Yeah, the ACU is still standing. It, like, this one was actually like rejuvenated by a, a water spirit that came to heal it. Ah, uh, yeah, I remember that. And it just turns oh, yeah. to you. And you just hear um, it in a very excited jitter as it looks at you. Wanting to, like, as it's holding onto the yokai, it, like, moves its nagging out in your direction. Anything else? Is it trying to talk to me? Like, or what's its body language? Is it excited and confused? Roll insight. Okay. It looks like it's trying to communicate. And Lonico, could you and Randall, could you both throw me a perception check as well? Will do. Okay. Yes. <laughs> I look, roll bad, but have that plus. So okay. <laughs> Seven. It's oh good. shit! Yeah. Yeah, you both can hear the ACU like as like it's making those jittering noises. It's um. And like it's fo focusing on Lo-Fi Boy and sees, um, you see Rocky turn to you for a second. And as it turns to you, uh, Lonika and Lo-Fi Boy, uh, Lonika and Randall, you hear this mechanical voice then just come from the ACU uh, as like you hear the jeering and distorted noises. Inmates require detaining, currently in pursuit. But like as it like says like you hear it just gobble and distort and like repeat itself every now and then as it's trying to like get the words out. As you can see it's uh glass uh face panel is shattered as target eyes scan the area around you. Anything else, Lonico? I mean uh Lofi Boy. Um So I just get that they are eager for something ish. In their frantic yeah. disposition. Yes. Okay. Um, okay. Well, I mean, all things considered, and the fact that they did like fight us already, there's no reason to think that they would collaborate in any way. And I'm not in a situation where I can communicate, and so I will bonus uh, action shove them with the shield, and so that will be a strength save. And I will just try to throw. I'm trying to make them prone. Mm -hmm. What you get? Uh, 21. 21. They have to roll strength check as well, don't they? Yeah. Oh, oh wow. they. They push the Suica Abake into the watermelon, I mean, into the, uh, into the tree. And it just, as they thunk into the tree, like you see peaches rain down over all of you. As Satoshi goes to cover their head, the ACU um, just w like a blur of wind um, intercepts your shield bash uh, with its, uh, the center of its staff and just like holds you in place. Anything else? Very awesome. Uh, taking a step back uh, from that position, I would like to bonus attack uh, again with the sword. But not bonus attack, it's extra attack, yes. Mm -hmm. And That hits. Oh, wow. And so that will be slashing um, at them. Just mm -hmm. try to take a step back, but then dive in. Yeah. Yeah, as you go into deal, you're 15 damage. You see you as you push away from them they kind of brace for your next movement but they think you're going in the other direction and you just come out of nowhere or not out of nowhere but like with satoshi and the sweeper bucket in and the peaches falling around you you are able to take advantage of just the little bit of chaos around you and just alter your movements to go in and attack it on the sides and just cause it to like kind of cave in and you see its eyes all just like glitching and just distort and just garble and um Lonika and Lofa boy, uh, Lonika and Randall, sorry, you hear 
more you hear it like struggle to like um get the words out but you also hear just in this robotic fashion and once again unknown intruders infiltrated facilities requiring assistance and then i would pass my uh the the popcorn to polly polly okay your turn awesome uh uh okay can i keep metal from here or do i have to be closer you you can i think you you just gotta be able to see okay uh i can i think i can see him from here i think i'm gonna uh heat metal uh that 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 boy go ahead <laughs> that guy uh my name's lo-fi boy you know just no <laughs> <laughs> not you he's not lo-fi boy um the bad one it failed i mean okay. you it succeeds to save so it only takes four damage as you see lo-fi boy it's metal uh, like the metal playing on its body just start to like uh, shift from the blacks to reds as it just continues slashing away and trying to like uh, catch you and attack you uh, and just keep all of you all out of its space continues uh, continuously searching and making its jobbled um, communications to any assistance it can as it constantly moves its attention to rocky anything else uh, polly uh no i think i'm gonna pass my turn actually okay uh, uh we will pass who hasn't gone randall um, satoshi and the ac you haven't and low nico okay i'm gonna pass it to satoshi i think oh satoshi is going to do that thing when i find their sheet <laughs> <laughs> wait are they oh they're a monk so yeah they're gonna just go in for their little um, karate chops and just punch at the ACU and slash at it with its wedged hand. And with Lofa Boy, you coming from the other direction, Satoshi almost created the distraction that gave you the opening for your attack as they had shifted their movement. Um, when they thought you were coming in one direction, they saw Satoshi coming from that same direction. So they instinctively went to block Satoshi giving you the opening however satoshi's hand has been caught by the Sato uh, the acu once again and satoshi is like oh oh goodness oh 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 lord as i'm gonna put the head on screen and they're gonna pass their turn over to randall all right uh randall is gonna get up off the prone position after getting <laughs> Thrown onto the, <laughs> thrown onto the bridge again. Uh, running, I think I can only go like half after that. So mm -hmm. uh, he's just gonna stand here and yell to Rocky. Rocky, it's scanning you. You have to get away from the AC unit. All right. As you say that, location. as you say that, you see the ACU's eyes drift upwards over your shoulder, Rocky. Staring mm, right I, at you, can, Well, can I, can I, like, stand in such a way that I am perfectly <laughs> silhouetted? Roll... By <laughs> Roll stealth for me. Come on, baby. Come on, baby. Oh, <laughs> it scans in your direction, but it just focuses on low Nico for a second. And, low, you feel these eyes pierce through you. And you feel... A... Nothing, like, the only thing more malevolent than the gaze of the ACU that, like, you've witnessed is the basket hag. Oh, good. I'm gonna do a little wave. <laughs> it's, you see its eyes just do this spin in their, like, although they're circuit, perfectly circular, there's nothing much. You just see all their, like, target eyes spin as you wave at it. It is now, uh, and then, <laughs> no, and sorry. then I'll uh, I'll do my uh, my advantage give to you, Rocky. Uh, we fought these things before, Rocky. You know what to do. Strike them in their weak spots. Right. And uh, I can only pass it to Lunico now, right? Or the ACU. Okay, then. Yeah, then I'll pass it to the ACU. All right. The ACU is going to make two attacks on you, uh, Lofi Boy, and then Satoshi. So this one's on Satoshi first. Satoshi's able to actually block as they pull their hand away. 
but as they go to block it, um, the uh, ACU just uses that to readjust itself and then come upwards to slash at you, Lo-Fi Boy. The 17 hit? No. Nope, you are able to sidestep. And you actually see just slice a peach out of the air into two halves, uh, cutting it straight down the middle. Middle. There's no, like, the pit has also, like, been cleaved in half. And it just... You see kind of, like, calculating as you all surround it. And you just... <laughs> And it even turned to Yuki as they just hear the snarls. Yeah, ah, oh, when I get out of this tree, ah. <laughs> coming from Yuki, <laughs> I'm gonna bite that bastard so hard. <laughs> Only got your turn. Okay. Um, uh, I'll get Yuki to um to a. Where is it gone? Fireball. There mm -hmm. we go. What? <laughs> For me, that roll is hidden behind all of us. <laughs> 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 oh, yeah, it is. Oh, yeah. 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 See that if, if not. 24, like, though. Uh, roll damage. You see Yuki just, as they're struggling to pull themselves out, with all their force, they just push and push, and their entire body goes flying like a rocket, like a fireball, like a bolt of fire out of the tree towards the ACU, as it just smashes straight through the yokai, uh, or the, the robotic yokai. And just explodes from the insides, causing metal shrapnel to like explode, explode in this flurry of whites, reds, and yellows. As Yuki just stands there, proud as it floats to the ground, and then just turns to Lo-Fi Boy and goes to bite him on the shin. <laughs> when I find uh, the can shin, <laughs> can he have um, a healing word, Rocky, as well? He can. Be kind of like trying to hold uh, Yuki away from me. <laughs> I don't actually have a bite <laughs> check for him, so I'm just gonna see if this hits. This nine doesn't hit. Like you just get like this, like you feel <laughs> these tiny teeth just like dink into your leg as one of its tails thwips onto you, Randall. Oh, healing word is sorry. No, so it's just still snarling at, uh, at you, Rocky, but uh, Randall. I mean, Lo-Fi Boy. And then it just every now and then turns to Rocky. You're doing great, by the way. And then, <laughs> and goes back to trying to bite Lo-Fi Boy, giving uh, Rocky nine healing. Ah! As the ACU is down. And you see these when all the combat, like when the ACUs are down and the combat's ended. Is there anything you guys want to do before uh, the Suiko Bake does uh, does their turn? Or goes into uh, the motion? Uh, same question. Did it drop a glaive? It does drop. It's, it, like, its whole body has just, like, collapsed to the ground. Can I feed the glaive to the, the umbrella? Roll Arcana. Thinking, uh, holding the weapon, trying to get a vibe. Check. It does, like, you see the energy of it shift uh, colors to purples and, like, your your wild magic colors uh, from your searches. But then, like, um, from, like, the like the, the, um, the light beams on the, on the weapon, not the actual blades itself or the metal. But it doesn't change in its form and just stays there. But if you want to give yourself a Naginata, uh, that will just be a glaive. And then just rename it to Naginata. No, it's okay. Like, I, I okay. don't trust it. <laughs> You're just a weapon thief. Uh, you, he just says, I said, bite it, trying to bite at you. You. What do you mean? You fiend. Oh, right. You, yeah, you can't hear it as it's just snarling at you. just hear, like, muffled noises from Yuki. Wasn't Yuki talking in Lofo Boy's brain? Oh, yeah, Yuki is in message. So, yeah, Yuki yeah. is like, yeah, you hear him. You're, uh, you're just a criminal. You're just a thief stealing other people's weapons. I, I can't afford them yourself. A, a copy or something. I don't know. It's like, for the amount of seeds I've planted in the world, if I take something back, like, 
What's one weapon gonna change, huh? It changes everything. Thief! They should have put you in Kasakawa instead of Rocky. Rocky did nothing wrong. Just As they just start biting at you. Like, I'm gonna... I'm not sure if this will fix everything, Yuki, but you really gotta, like, you know, uh, get, like, like, talk to Lonico or something. It's all this anger that's inside of you, like, you... Like, I'm about to exit Rage and I'm telling you this right now, but, like... Do you exit you, you Rage? You gotta work on that, buddy. No, I will, like, okay. at the end of that sentence, like, I'm about to. As you like, do... Now, Yuki goes for like, <laughs> lunges for the final bite, but before they can reach you, they just out of nothing and then just appear uh, beside you. Uh, oh, she's not Samuel West. <laughs> they appear bes uh, beside you, uh, uh, Lonika. Oh, oh, hello, Lonika. How are you? Doing well, uh, I, I assume? Uh, yes. Uh, are you alright? Oh, I couldn't be better, I don't think. Uh, I was fine, actually, uh, but like then, him came. But other than that, everything is perfectly fine. It's called Thursday. Is it Thursday? They look at their wrist for a second. <laughs> I wouldn't know. It's the 30th of September, and that's all I got. <laughs> <laughs> it's a pretty good Thursday. Mm. Uh, it's Thursday can, somewhere. Can I the see the, the mech? At all, like yeah, you can, yeah. As you like, as you go to check on the mech, the uh, Suica uh, Abaka is just like stomping at it and just constantly just whacking it with this katana very ungracefully. Uh, folks, I think we're gonna want to get out of here because that mech over there is coming for its pieces, and what I saw when I fell in the river that's one of its pieces. Is Lonico translating? Oh no, you like L L Randall can speak in English. I mean, in uh, uh, modern Sheehan. You just can't. Translating into deaf oh. message oh, language. Yeah. Oh, ah, yes. <laughs> I'm, I, at this, I mean, someone's gonna have to do that. <laughs> I, I mean, I'm focusing right now on like, on probably Polly and Lonico when I say that. Yeah, I'll, I'll keep doing that until no like, we can hear again. Yeah, you, you will need to. F I'll level, not level, um, I'll let you know now. You'll be his uh, messenger for the entire day until you guys sleep. <sighs> oh no. <laughs> yeah, the what I'll probably smacking. do is like wait until there's enough to say and then explain it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay, got it. Oh, if you want to write it down from time to time, like in, in like, you, you can, in the Twitch chat even. Like, that's what I'm gonna consider. <laughs> that's like, canon. No. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Satoshi's just watching the Suiko back. It just, like, go fucking to town on the scrap metal of the ACU. And they're just, like, whacking it. Evil. Robot. Stupid. Mechanical. Abomination. Abomination. And they just keep smacking it with this katana. And then just turns to Rocky after, like, it's, like, um, in just little pieces. I can't, like, have anything more happen to them. Anyway, would you like to continue our duel? duel? Uh, yeah. Are you up for it? Are you, you're a little, a little beaten. <laughs> yeah, as you see a chunk taken out of the head, revealing the inside of a watermelon. I couldn't, I couldn't be doing any better, better. All right, <laughs> suit yourself then. Love the enthusiasm and the uh, the perseverance. Make way. As okay, they look, at, uh, uh, not not you, not you, not you, rock, not you, Rockman, you. Okay. You get yourself ready. You 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 look like you need to freshen up. Actually, instead, would you, you like know, some time I to rest? A little bit of a uh, stone polish. Um, I sorry, I don't have any polishing stone. <laughs> I don't think I need time to rest. I mean, uh, it can't hurt. We could just we could both just take some time to rest, and then we could we could reconvene and mm -hmm. all healed up, all ready to battle. Be down. As like the uh, uh, Obake just like looks at Lofi, looks up at Lofi Boy's back because they're looking away at like Lo Nico. And he's like, move! Robot man, move! He's deaf, he can't hear you. What does that mean to be deaf? He can't hear you? That's what I said. Anyways. As you say it's Satoshi, then oh yeah, oh yeah. He grabs a hold of lo fi boy and just pulls him to the side of it. Alright then, melon boy. Ah, Let's go. Yes. Let's go, Rockman. We could be like a fun, like superhero and uh, and sidekick team if you wanted. You know, 
I agree. Rock yes, man and you'd... Melon Boy. No, no, no. You'd be I... a great sidekick. Yes, I would be the main superhero, and then you'd be my sidekick. No, you'd be the great sidekick. You'd be a great. No, sidekick. no, no. I disagree. No, you would be the sidekick. Mm, no, nah, I don't have a good kick. You, rock you, you look like you have strong rock legs. I, and I you, do, They I pull up their skirt right. to show their ankles. You see, I have very weak watermelon legs. Yeah, you got some cankles, man. <laughs> yes. They're good for moving, but not much else. Alright, well. Teach yourself. Make a comic book about us. What, what's that? What, what is a comic book? That's like a regular book. What's a book? Oh, uh, you know how, like, you know, have you ever heard of a scroll? Have you ever read a scroll? What's a scroll? All right. Uh, words on paper. If you don't know what words are, if you don't know what paper is, I can't help you any further than that. Let's just duel. All right? Let's, I don't uh, think you can help me then. I'm sorry, my friend. All right. Well, then but I yes. guess I'll just have to beat you. <laughs> I'll give him a little finger. Again. Let's duel. All right. All right. Did, we, oh, we, did, we, did we rest, technically? Did you lost? Would you, would you like to have a rest? You can if you want to. I mean, my health just went up randomly. I don't know why. So you, I Lon, uh, Lo, Lo Nico did heal you. Okay, I think I'm fine. I don't know what I used um, from last time. I don't know if I used like my action surge and stuff though. I'll be I'll be honest. I don't think you did. But like you like if you've used it like just like you can tally on your sheet uh, on the sides. But if you if you have a mark down, then like like if you you'll see there's like if you hover over like where the box says action surge, you can click the arrow. It'll go down to zero or blah blah. Box says action surge. There's no arrow. Is it not? On the sides, on the sides, if you hover over it. No, 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 uh, no, 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 sorry, not there, not there. Sorry, that's on me. Um, if you look above your features and traits, there should be a section with, like, your uh, second wind, merge with stone and blah, blah, and your fighting spirits. Yeah, uh, that, uh, my, my tr features and traits. Above that, just above. Underneath the bottom, no, no, go back, go back. <laughs> <laughs> underneath <laughs> underneath your floors on short rest and long rest you'll see there's a second a second wind merge with stone action surge <laughs> but like right. oh yes okay i see it now <laughs> yeah when you, okay, like, you can look, yeah that's okay um i'm All just right. gonna assume you didn't because like, if you can't remember okay. i can't remember it's more okay. effort than it's worth well, i'll let you i mean if he wants to use any of his things that he would have already been done as well he can use that too because i don't like that mean nah he's he's just gonna get ready for his duel Okay. Well. Okay. All right, guys. Y'all step back and uh, mind the hole, Melon Man. There's a hole behind me. Uh, you mind it too. I I will. Good. I have minded it, and I was warning you. Yes, no, no, no. I, I appreciate that, I, and I'm being your friend back by by telling you to. All right. I, yeah, to, I to, to, it. to 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 keep an eye on the hole, the hole. Yeah. After this whole thing, I'll teach you what a book is. Sound good? Are you gonna fix my hole? Hole? Um. Yeah. We'll we'll we'll. Send, we'll yeah, we got it. Uh -huh. Oh, okay. anyways, let's just fight. Let's go. Yeah. All right, roll initiative. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Mm. All right. Mm. Okay. All right. <laughs> it's gonna go. It's gonna go first. <laughs> Rushing in for a headbutt. But. And then, <laughs> and then two <laughs> slashes with its katana. Oh goodness. Oh, good lord. Uh, <laughs> oh, my god. 25, 26, and 27. 20, yeah, those hit. Those certainly do all hit. <laughs> oh, gosh. I do. Do I still have all these? I have a, I have a, a, I have a inspiration. I have the feather. <laughs> Randall's dragon you feather. Have, and I believe shield. the shield was. What was the shield? I cast protection against. Ah. Um, oh, then it's disadvantage on all those checks, doesn't it? Yeah. Alright. It's checks, not it's attacks? Or. or I think attacks. Attack. Okay, well, take that because right. it's, it's okay. Listen. Yeah, attack rolls, yeah. <laughs> so, <laughs> he's got that 20 on the headbutt. So, it does still hit you with the headbutt. It hits but you with it, one katana. It, it got disadvantage, so it uses its first thing it got. So yeah, it no, that's, that's something, yeah, that's something, yeah. And so what's your AC? My, my AC is like thir four, 13, yeah. All right, they all hit still. They all hit still. All right, well. You <laughs> also have your... As like it like slash that you feel like every slash is very... There is no wasted movement. As like you just get stunned as soon as their head smashes into yours. Oh. Uh, oh. 
Ugh. dealing nine bludgeoning damage. And you oh. feel like you just, you don't even get, to, like, you're wincing from the pain as you just see, oh. or you feel searing cuts uh, made into your, uh, into your uh, right leg as you almost buckle under the impact and you mm. feel, and your movement has been reduced by 10 feet as it has done slasher on you. Yee. It's Yikes. your turn now. Well, uh, I'll be frank with you. Oh, not. You know, you did good. You did good. Uh, uh, but uh, I'll do even better. So I get advantage on my first first attack roll. So I'm going to use, because I have the feather, right? That's what that mm-hmm. means. Yeah. You're all, you're all good. You're all good. Okay, so I'm going to do that. Uh, 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 so my first attack. That hits. Uh, yeah, I, I, use, I have the advantage on that one though, though oh, right? yeah. so I have to go ahead and reroll uh, just to see if. Yeah, I mean, okay, that hit on that one for sure. Yeah. I'm gonna go ahead and just roll for my other attacks as well, just to see mm-hmm. if they hit or not. Uh, this is for the two weapon one. Uh, oh, shit. 20. <laughs> oh shit! Oh uh, shit! I'll roll for my second or my second attack in a second. But uh, so nice. this is the first thing. That's nine damage. And then for the two Ooh. weapon fighting, that's another oh my uh, 11, 11, 16 damage. Why is that zero? That's bull. Uh, because it, it oh, only has it strength, five yeah. once. Oh, okay. Yeah, it only has it once. Even oh. in that 20. Throw. Your so blade that is was, sharp. Was 25 damage total. Okay. And you're uh, specific and for, you're slashing at? I want to slash... Uh, <laughs> I don't know. I I, I want to splash as lightly as I can. I'll flash at the melon. I'll slash at his cankles. I'll slash at his cankles. Yeah. <laughs> uh, and then now I'm gonna go ahead and use oh. my next attack. As a reaction huh? before you, no going on you do you do your, your next damage actually and I'll do. I get my next attack right. Yeah. Okay. Oh, nat one. Oh, cool. As you go to. <laughs> As you go to make the second attack, as you see, as you cut off one of its legs, it drops its head smashing into the ground and it kind of oh. squidges just a bit. Oh, your blade is very sharp as it catches your uh, third katana slash. But you notice the one on the floor, ha- like the, the, the Suica has to move their katana as they hit the ground. Instead, beside you, another Suica Obake has appeared. As everyone else you saw as like it's um as like lo-fi boy cuts a chunk out of it you see that form into another obake and it catches your uh, your second slash um rocky oh okay i am uh, a fruit ninja it says all right <laughs> i am a rock a samurai <laughs> flash cowboy uh, hey, that's gotta right. be against the rules. You can't make two fighters. No, that is my, that is my form still. So it is me. It is still part of the rules. I take out Michael. <laughs> <laughs> Anything else you'd like to do, Rocky? Uh, I, I I will go ahead and use my my second wind. So uh, um, on my turn I can use a bonus action to regain. Wait, no, oh, I can't only use that as a bonus action. I already used my bonus action then. Oh, uh, I can't do this. Once you're... Yeah, I can't do it. Ah, oh, dang. Okay, well, I'm not doing that. Uh, I will. Maybe. Let's see. What do I want to do? Do I want to use my... I can go ahead and use my action surge. Um, uh, and then I will just use another attack. I'm going to go attack the main one, but I'm going to aim for his head. Okay. Go ahead. Yeah. That okay, hits. twenty-seven to hit, and that is seven damage. <laughs> oh. Uh, and then that I wince is... from just looking at how sharp your blade is. Thanks, man. Says... I, lo- I went to uh, looking how sharp you look right now. Oh, thank you. I wink As at you him. see a blush. <laughs> <laughs> um. Yeah, that'll, that'll be the end of my turn. All right, it's now. Um, now the rest of you guys, I don't know if like Rocky wants your help. Um, would you have told him to help, uh, or would you allow them to help you, Rocky? Want the help the other way, but I don't want them to help with the the, the actual like fighting, like attacking it one on one. You know? Mm-hmm. Yeah. And I said that earlier, I think, before the first original fight. Okay. 
So yeah, if you guys want to try and help Rocky without like actively being visibly partaking in the fight, you guys can. But like, if you, so like Randall, for example, if you wanted to use your help action, you can. If anyone else wants to like like body inspirations or anything, you guys are allowed to do that. As I you will definitely use my help action. I will yell towards Rocky, saying, "More like that that middle hit that was so good, Rocky. That one was great. Less like that abysmal <laughs> hit." For sure. All right. <laughs> Sounds good. <laughs> You're doing great, buddy. As you say that, the Suiko Bake beside you is like, yes, you are doing excellent. You are a wonderful fighter. I will be. I will look forward to having your weapons. Oh, uh, well, I'll look forward to having yours. <laughs> All right. Touche. Touche. Um, cool. Anybody else can do anything? Uh... Can I give some bardic inspiration? You can. Uh, oh, oh, okie dokie. I take out I my that. little uh, kalimba and I play a cute little sound, cute little tune. Uh, battle music, thank you. <laughs> yeah, it's definitely very hardcore battle music from the kalimba. Um, so it's chef's kiss. Randall, give a little. Wah, ah, ah. Come on, Randall. You got this. Oh, wah, ah, ah. There we go. Thank you. <laughs> As like you guys are all like a giving a little bit of necrotic breath comes out. <laughs> As you guys are all giving Rocky oh, bardic deep, inspiration, man. you see your glitter take the form of a glittering little hedgehog that just starts running Ooh. across a bridge, and then running and swirling around you, your legs, Randall, uh, Rocky. As you also get a chat inspiration from Frankie, along with oh. your bardic inspiration. Thank you, God. <laughs> I have no other considerations left. <laughs> Not to worry. I okay. I need a I need a refresher. So my my little lizard snake dragon dudes are uh, in regular inspiration. My yes. shields. Why do I have two of them? That's those? protect. That that is just protection from good and evil. That's you get advantage uh, if something tries to attack. If the the Suiko attacks you, they get disadvantage. Okay. Yeah. And then my ninja. I have no clue what the ninjas are, to be honest. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> And uh, the feather is Randy's random yeah. inspiration, and then and, the, um, the no, part of yeah. The note one makes the only, it's the only one that makes like logical sense to me. The rest are like, I, <laughs> I, think, I think the ninja one was with the pass of the tra- Like, doesn't he have like the, the maybe the, the stone skin thing or something? It was, it was something. Something was. Bad, oh, but. oh, oh! You have blur. You have blur on you. You are like moving like yeah. a fucking yeah. You're you're a ninja right now. You are smoke. And That's rocks. right. <laughs> this whole time I've been like really smoky and everyone's just like, Rocky, you good? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm fine. Yeah, this is I thought that was just you being wet from the river. <laughs> <laughs> if you want to do anything else, Rocky? Uh, my, my, my turn's been over. I don't know if they can do oh. anything else. Uh, than I, oh, yeah, they I mean, did. I can heal you. Yeah, <laughs> y'all, y'all did. Y'all did good. Uh, y'all did. So I guess it's the it's their turn now. Yeah. Although uh, I don't want another. I'm I'm half health, so <laughs> it goes to she headbutt you. Me too. Oh, <laughs> yeah, wait, wait, wait. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I saw that go to twenty. <laughs> Just <laughs> <right? laughs> regardless, they have disadvantage. So I mean, yeah. But yeah, you can heal if you want to. I could only heal by a healing word. Is Yuki still around? Yeah, Yuki's just on your on your shoulder. Okay. Okay. Headbutt misses, all right. I'm going to get it. Yuki to do it, and I'll do it as well. Oh, they, did, they saw Yuki last time. They did, but this is healing words, so I don't have to go up to you. Okay. <laughs> I didn't say that out loud. <laughs> <laughs> I, just, I, gave, I gave them the eyes. I gave, like, Georgia, like, or, sorry, Gordon, let me go. <laughs> like, eyes, like, don't do anything. Come on, man. Don't, do, don't mess this up for me. Yuki just starts um, humming along with you, Lonika, as like you start making, uh, start using your healing word, and you guys notice when like Yuki is singing, they kind of sound like they're on auto tune. Is the way I would describe. <laughs> but yeah, um, yeah, you get like uh, as like you get that bardic inspiration, you also feel uh, Lonika's fires just light up higher within you, and you get just a bit more uh you feel a bit more resilient now as a suiko beside you goes to headbutt you from the side but you i would just like sidestep it completely pushing it away as the other one gets up and then makes its way towards you and goes for two and they go for two slashes together um trying to slice you down the middle 
That's, That's the first one. That one hit. Yeah. <laughs> Come on, roll badly. Uh, that hit. <laughs> oh. And, and you also have ten HP. feet. You have ten feet movement. Oh. Uh, reduced as well, as it just does two a par perfect parallel slice as they pull away, um, stepping as like your um, as you see your Harry has also been just slashed by its cuts um, mm. and it ends its turn giving it back to you Rocky okay, oh, uh, I keep turning I'm my camera after... on by accident sorry <laughs> <laughs> I go after the main one again I have advantage because of uh, mm -hmm. Randall Feather uh, <laughs> okay uh, I'm hits? sure 27 hits yeah I sure hope so <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah baby uh, I'm gonna wait to do my bonus action right now but I'm gonna do that that's 12 damage mm-hmm Aim it for its head again, like it's it's like head neck area. Um, for my second attack, this isn't my bonus attack because um, I'm gonna use that for something else in a second. But uh, my second attack is another swing. Uh, does 18 hit? 18 does hit. Okay, cool. Uh, As you cut out of its damage. head, by the way, you see the slice also takes form becoming a third suiko uh, suiko a on. No. how okay this seems all right this seems how do i kill you <laughs> as i told or you like i am a fruit ninja and what does that mean can i do like a history check <laughs> like the like the app <laughs> like the <laughs> excuse me what is this app <laughs> it's, it's something you read before your main course um anyways I. <laughs> this is I all fair like is... in love and war. This is not you didn't fair. Didn't ask me what I could war. do. Thus, you didn't know that I could do this. But still, this is very much fair. Fair. They all say echoing at you. Up. All right, get, you got a big head right now. Whoa, that's offensive! I didn't say your head was big. But also, uh, thank you. <laughs> I thought it was offensive. It's both you? offensive and very complimentative. Right, you gotta make up your mind, no. I'm no. allowed to All contradict right, myself. Shut your trap. Um, <laughs> I'm gonna go I ahead. Your friends, do. friends don't be so offensive and rude. I friends don't duplicate themselves when they're having a fair and square fight. All right. <laughs> yeah, like R Randall is gonna run up and like say, if if you're using that logic that you're all the same, me and Rocky are the same. We were cut from the same. Fires of Kasakawa together, and I like yeah, rush in and attack. attack. Well, neither of you are made of fire. Go ahead. Okay, I want to finish my 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 mm -hmm. yeah, action real quick. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, I, it's my second wind. This allows me to heal a little bit. Uh, you draw protect on your turn. You can use a bonus action to regain it, it, points equal to one d10 plus your fighter level. Uh, so I'm gonna go ahead and do one d10. Plus, I am level 5, so that's 10 HP. Excellent. All right. Cool. Uh, and that is the end of my turn. Randall, you have entered the fight. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> As you come running, these the, 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 the one closest to you just turns from Rocky, pulling their, uh, like their sword kind of like clashes with Rocky's and creates sense sparks as it slides up uh, the, its length and then just comes around to catch you, Rocky, uh, Randall, before you get any... Like, your short sword just gets out of its she uh, sheath or you just pulled it ready to attack and the week has already stopped you. Um, what do you mean you are made cut from the same fires? You you both are clearly made of rock. Can I put up my hand and go, I'm made of fire, and can I get Yuki to try and cast sleep, <laughs> please? You can. Go ahead. You roll sleep as like when you say that it just turns all three of their heads perplexed. <laughs> Anything else you'd like to do also, Randall? By the way, while uh, Cove uh, that's it for now. No reason. Okay. As you say that, you see each one starts um, eyes just start closing. Do they have to roll a con save? I forget actually. Um, or is it just straight up like, like if they've got any of the health? It has to be equal 
the creature's hit points must be equal or less than the remaining total. Yeah, then yeah, you just see all their eyes start to like just drift and make start like closing as a you see Rocky the this one's starts growing a snap bubble as you see it begin to like just start lowering itself to like go down into a sleeping position as the other one kind of shrinks and runs in a tiny uh, as a tiny suiko bucket towards the original and then become its leg again and this one becomes its uh, the slice out of its head and it has fallen asleep here also well right there and just hunk shoo hunk shoo as it just has a giant uh, snot bubble forming out of its nose with every uh, breath oh there we go sorry about that everyone um, OBS wanted to be a pain um, but yeah you guys what did you guys want to do as you just hear it just mutter not on I, I kind of have to be honorable, guys. Um. <laughs> well, we can honorably leave. Right, I mean, here. how honorable was the melon? Yeah, truly. I, I mean, hey, I guess technically all I wanted to do in the first place was, in fact, to knock it out. And it is successfully knocked out. Um, I only use as many people as it used, so... Yeah, can we, can we, can we hurry, please? I want to take a sword and leave. <laughs> Roll. <laughs> Wait, does it wake up if I interact with it? I'm gonna ask uh, Low Nico. Put you put the spell uh, on right, Only Nico. Uh, if you like. If it punch takes it? damage or if you okay. punch it awake. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah, you can. You only need to roll. Right, I'll let hold you. Hold on, hold on, hold on, Rocky. Before you go ahead and do that, so like maybe. Are you, are you good at are you good at this kind of thing? <laughs> I I don't have to roll anything. Do I have? To you like I mean, yeah. you can just take it. Okay. Okay. okay, I'm grabbing you're it. I'm gonna have to slide to have this thing. It looks different than mine, does it? Or does it, it does. look like a? You, okay. it's has a, its blade. All right, I'm gonna have to write this down because like I'm gonna have to draw this because I have a really cool. Idea. <laughs> oh, so I can pull up a, a thing. Yeah, although the bl the metal itself is. V very dark it looks to be well very well crafted giving a pink shift in uh, as a light catches every now and then um Ooh. a reddish a very pretty reddish pink um uh, along uh its entire like the length of the blade um when the light catches it and you can see the cross guard is like that of a watermelon slice um Ooh. with like it's on the Outside is like the thick part of the rind, and you can see it's like patterned like the rind, but then it's like flat on the inside, um, and it's just like a plain um, disc of metal. Um, the actual um, blade itself, uh, the cross guard of the blade, it's also fairly uh, plain. It looks like that of a normal uh, katana. Um, not any different to yours. Um, okay. But other than that, it does... Something about it is very... Feels powerful to your touch. Okay. Uh, then yeah, I, I take it. Um, do you just have one or do you have two? It's just the one. Okay, yeah, I take the one. Cool. Would you like to take the sheath as well? <laughs> like, yeah, I'll take the sheath as well. Yeah, yeah. That oh, wait, one. No, is that on him? Yeah, that's like wrapped in like a frog on his uh, rope belt. But you. Like... I'm not gonna worry about the sheath right now. I have mm -hmm. my own sheath. So I can. I mm -hmm. easily get my own. Like I feel like it's not as important. Uh, and then we'll bounce. <laughs> Let's go, guys! <laughs> you, let's go, let's go. <laughs> as you guys make your way, uh, run away, could you all run me a perception check? Mm. Except, for it. except for Low Except for who is deciding to stay on the other side of the bridge and hassle oh. Yuki. Oh, yeah, can you tell him that we're leaving? <laughs> Low Five Boy, come on. <laughs> a minute is gonna surely wrap up soon. Can we wave at Lo like Low Fi as he's facing us? Can I just be like, hey? <laughs> can I tell him by a message? Come you on, can. <laughs> Hey, can I respond by message? What about Satoshi? Oh yeah, sorry. Satoshi. Then, yeah, Satoshi's Satoshi's running with you guys. Satoshi's like he, okay, he yes. they will follow. Satoshi's sorry, over there like <laughs> taking a nap. <laughs> <laughs> They're just having a good time. Yeah. Um. 
What is this graffiti? <laughs> Someone scratched it into the floor. You, as you guys make your way to the other side of the bridge, you can just I see for, under. I wrote that. <laughs> <laughs> I had a glass session. I wrote that. <laughs> the word of power. Just give me a second. I'm gonna change the music. Power. That's the healing word. Power. Right there. Word. <laughs> <laughs> the healing word is Pepis. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, the dream. Yeah. Oh, perception. Did I do this <laughs> you, you, you don't need. You don't. Don't. You don't need to worry about it. Um, but I'm gonna try. Oh, to okay. Seventeen. Give me a second. As you guys make your way to cross the bridge. Um, Satoshi is not gonna roll as well. He was, he's too busy just like coming along with you guys. Um, Polly, Lonico, and Randall, you guys all hear it, but Randall, you don't as you make your way across the bridge. Okay. You hear. Give me a second. As I. As you guys make your way across the bridge. Um, you hear the faintest of noises, murmurs from the Suikoi Abake. You are most honorable, Rockman. Rockman. I don't like this, guys. I don't like as, this. As it just sleeps away happily. I feel like it's going, see, I'm going to get cursed or something, guys. I'm going to be honest. <laughs> as you make your way to the other side of the... As you see a bag, uh, like a burlap sack um, full of weapons... Naginatas and like just um, swords, uh, short swords, maces, and like just all like a varying uh, state of disrepair and um, polish, all just like under this tree. Just and I can you I do an arcana type check to see if any of them are magical? Go ahead. Hey, if any of y'all can also check to see if these are magical, I would appreciate it. I'm not well versed <laughs> in magic, but uh, <laughs> oh, yes, <yeah, six. laughs> I could try. Uh, yeah, I guess I kind of understand the nonverbal shenanigan. Reasonable. <laughs> this seems way, way more your guys' forte. Mm. Well, I'll say, Lofi boys, because like you're not aware. Like, do you want like Lonico? Are you telling him what the wife wants soon? Yeah, I'll. Okay. I'll just oh, mind then. Explain to him what's going on, so he's not yeah. just yeah. standing confused. At you every guys. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> like just assume I am telling you what's yeah. going on. <laughs> okay, thank you. As you guys are Appreciate trying it. to take in all the magic and like trying to like gauge the the power coming from this bag of weapons. You feel nothing. It is just a bag full of old weapons that have been taken by you can assume are weapons that were prizes that the Suicide Bucket has won for those trying to cross its bridge. And then, okay. chat, can I have someone roll me a d6, please? I don't like that. As yep. you also... Oh, no. mm-hmm. <clears throat> but yeah, it's just, it's just a bag full of just random weapons. I'm going to wait for chat to get, give me that d6 before I do anything. Am I, still, am I still smoky right now? Am I still like... Yeah, you are still smoking away. Also, I walk yeah. slowly. I'll, t- I'll take like a throwing knife if there's like a little knife in there. Yeah, yeah you can roll perception if you want to try and look for anything specific. Yes, please. Let me get some range. Hey, what do you do? I look for a gun. Oh my Roll god. perception. <laughs> if there's a gun in here. <laughs> <laughs> you do not find a gun. <laughs> but do I Randall. Find the 22? You find five throwing knives. So, like, for the sake of uh, your inventory, I'm going to put in five throwing dag- uh, like daggers in your inventory. Okay. Oh, thank you. Can, can I look if there's a glaive? Go ahead. And then I'm going to back away from all the trees. I'm just going to stand right here. <laughs> I do not trust that. <laughs> Don't worry, I'll get that wild magic in a second uh, there, Frankie. Yeah, you have five throwing daggers now. Thank you.
and I'm gonna add a melon slicer to your inventory. Uh, Rocky. Does it have a name? I've given it a name. I already. I, I added it to the. Cool. Inventory, yeah. Just in my just in my raw items right now because I don't know what yeah. it does or how damage it'll do. Yeah, I'll ask you to. Uh, we'll do that like when you oh, guys get along. I think I lost you. Hello. Yes. Yes. Oh. Yes. Ah, ah shit. He's role playing as me that like, can't. Yeah. Oh no, I'm like, not mute. Oh no, stream is frozen yeah. too. Oh no. Oh. No, 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 no we, can hear you. we can hear you. We can hear you. Hello. Oh. Hello. Oh. Uh, stream's back as well. Okay. 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 That was worrying. You back, George? Follow the hiccup. George is still away. I'm not sorry. I will just. Also, Sam, don't worry about it. Unfe yeah, unfect indeed. Yeah, you find Are those. Are you talking right now? Hello? Gosh. Just give me a second, chat. I feel like he's falling through the world weave. Or I can't take care of anyone. <laughs> Hello? Hello. Hello. Yeah, uh, my Discord's also like just uh, OBS is just dropping again. I don't know what the fuck's going on. My, bed. my internet. I don't know. Is it? Uh, how's it on? Um, on stream. Stream uh, looks fine. The stream fine. right now is. The stream right now is. Up. It's working. Okay. Give me a second. Um, I'm just gonna quickly just check something. Yeah, Yuki's just in my face. Actually, I'll do that. I'll just take. I don't know how helpful it would be. I'll just turn Wi Fi off on my phone. I've had my day on. All day, apparently. Um, yeah. Okay. Where are we? Do, 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 yeah, you've got melon slices. You found some daggers. Anything else you wanted to look for? No, I don't think so. I was looking for a glaive. Oh yeah, what you got a nineteen? Yeah, you find a glaive. You oh, find this. Can I try to feed it? Roll arcana. I can roll for it if you yeah, want. Roll me an arcana. But what I'm gonna say <laughs> is. Yeah, we'll, 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 see, we'll see what you so, get. Yeah, we'll How see, long we'll is the guy asleep for, uh, 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 Low Nico? Oh, okay, we a minute. should probably bounce. We should bounce. Yeah, it's ten. one minute. Now, yeah, you, can, you can't absorb that glaive. Yeah. Uh, I, I kind of uh, look at it and I'm like, ah, it's not the right vibe. Like, as you I all slow fat boy's hand <laughs> and as try you, to drag him. <laughs> as you get gra drabbed, uh, grabbed by Low Fi Boy, I mean by Rocky. You also feel um, your, you feel your magical just energy deplete immediately. Like you feel like the like the energy that like you have been using to like try and absorb the weapons is being drained. Um, before you guys continue, okay. also uh, you see Satoshi as they're rushing with you. You see the ground also starts to once again start splitting from underneath uh. them. Uh, let's give me a like second. <laughs> oh wait, Rocky! I can't. I just realized I can't hear you, and I think I'm talking, but I can't hear myself. But wait, nod if you can hear me. I I nod. I nod. No. <laughs> ah, <laughs> that's too bad. <laughs> oh God, yes, I can talk loudly. <laughs> Which direction are you guys running as you see Satoshi? The ground underneath Satoshi kind of like just sprout like a flower that puffs upwards uh, into the sky. Uh, it looks like a, uh, just like a, one, like a peach blossom from that like um, has been falling from some of the trees. And as it like sprouts upwards, you see Satoshi get covered in this dust. And a very pleasant peach odor, just uh, like, like a peach perfume just uh, sw um, swirls around the water genasi. And you see the hair even just shift color a bit and become a lot more relaxed as they just it just curls over itself gently, uh, so, uh, just like the water stream uh, behind you guys. As you as a minute does pass, 
you notice the Suica Abake has not left the slumber and is just still drifting off in watermelon dreamland. Nighty night. I wave goodbye. <laughs> Uh, what way are we heading, guys? I tucked him in. Yeah, that would have been honorable. Left or right? <laughs> as you see, yeah, there was a split. There seems to be a more prominent path to the left, but right, you never know. You're the map guy, Randall. Well, I haven't um, been through here yet. It's a uh, map as I go. Polly, yeah, yeah, I understand to, You that. can just... try to remember which way you took. If you want to roll a... Uh, what's the word? Yeah. History check? History. Hmm. That's survival? I mean... Yeah, it could be survival as well, actually. That's a good point. Survival. If you want to run survival instead, if that's better. But either way, you got 19. Oh, man. You did really I mean, well. I think that's good. I'm not going to risk yeah. it. <laughs> you remember coming from this way? Uh, from, way from, this from way? From this path. Oh, okay. From uh, on the left. Um, I think I remember coming from this left path over here. Uh... Maybe we should go that way. <laughs> I don't really know anymore. I'm uh, n uh, lost and terrified. What was that the mech? What was, what was that? As you hear footsteps <laughs> off in the distance, also I... making every oh, hand splashes. Go. Yeah, I think we should go. Northeastward. Okay, Wait. let's go. No, sorry, north uh, westward. So, in the direction really you guys are kind of heading. Oh, my God. Oh. Maybe, you know what? I might have remembered going that way, but who um, who needs memories when you have being able to breathe and be alive? Uh, so if we we could we could really go anyway. Um, anyway. Oh. Yeah, Master I'd, be, I'd be cool with going to the right. <laughs> After hearing that. Yeah. To the right. To the rat, to the rat, everything in a little box. To the rat. Mm -hmm. As you guys, the new song I'm working on. Hey, you guys can make your way to the right. Good. Yuki, uh, you uh, you see Yuki behind uh, on your shoulder, Lonico, just like curl around you, and then just kind of like peek into your head. Uh, like it, they do that thing, like where like your foreheads touch, and you just see Yuki push in and then fall into your uh, mind temple in your head. And Yuki is now left uh, the bar map, but is with you. A reminder, chat, by the way, you guys have channel point redemptions to help and hinder the party at any point uh, oh, during the session. That scares me every oh. time. I know, when you say that, it's scary. Like, yeah. It's yeah. <laughs> As, <laughs> yeah, you guys keep making your way forward, and I'm going to move you guys over to the, the next map. <gasps> Exciting. I feel like we've been on that bridge for rich. <laughs> I know I'm not a fire genasi, but I really want to burn that bridge. <laughs> As you guys, did I like prematurely move Not you low. guys? I feel like I prematurely moved you guys across. At least for me, I, yeah. I, I see it. I see it. I did move you guys prematurely. Okay. <laughs> I can't see anything. What Come do you see? The south here, Rocky. I I am I I see black. I see. You I'm, where am I at? Map? Oh, okay, okay, yeah, I see it now. All right, hold on. A little more than you're letting on, if I'm being honest. Guys, I have a quick question. What, what, uh, where's the best type of uh, natural place to sleep? The ground. Uh, I would say a forest because it's forest. Okay, oh, no. I'm leaving. <laughs> 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 she just like walks over here. That is a good one. I like that a lot. Oh, there are crows. That's not a good sign. I mean... And why not? I think it's a great sign. <laughs> I love nature. I love animals. Crows are spooky. I am back. I'm gonna try is... to pet one. Hopefully we're back on stream. Hello, everyone. Sorry about that. I had to just... Are we back on stream? I think we're back, yeah. Sort something out on my end. Yeah, um, we're back. Perfect. As the... <laughs> went and bought more internet. Yeah. Um, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> as... As you guys make it... <laughs> I did prematurely move you guys across the map, but like it's just you uh, continue meandering um, along the path, and you kind of end up in like a. Um, you just keep going for a bit, and you see another stream up ahead. 
and you can just see, stream stream as <laughs> looming over the the treetops you can see um black oily stone um just looming over some of the treetops of uh ahead of you in front of this stream as you can see uh the odd koi fish uh, um school just swimming through the waters and just making their way along the stream and um the sound of crows grows louder while here as you as you were making your way you would just can't see have crows cawing in your ear and above you and as you finally get into this area this little clearing you see them all just fly away as you see the ground beneath you start to crack and you feel heat bubbling from underneath not again give me a second as I'm going to change the music as as the ground underneath you starts cracking and bubbling you you feel magic like that arcana check that you guys uh, rolled earlier uh, you could feel this swarming magic surrounding you earlier and like mm. it's but like it wasn't coming from the back and it was just like up ahead and just kind of like you could feel it like almost like searching like just like you were and it has almost instead of like going like bursting out of the ground the, you you can feel the magic burrow into the ground right here in front of you guys as give me a second as I'm going to go back to my notes for, um, as you just told you to start panicking for a second and then step back and who are they next to uh, Randall they pull you aside Randall watch yourself Randall as they, <laughs> they try to make clear clear of the space as the ground starts uh, um, pushing upwards and you can see in the forest around you, the Kirin um, leaping around. Um, the same one that you've been watching. Uh, just ver watch very curiously as you see the ground start pushing back against the magic. As just give me a second. As you just like get this like eruption of fire just burst out of the ground as you see lava forming in this tiny crater right in front of you guys bubbling and roiling over itself as the crater grows bigger and bigger but not like outside of the five foot square that it's uh, it's making and if I just turn it down just a titch. Give me a second. You see this molten plinth push out of the ground. This like um, egg almost. Um, like crack open to form into the shape of a little boat floating atop the lava. As you see fire swirling within this um, cradle. And you see as like the fires pull away, they reveal just this tiny little lump of mass. A baby. inside the fire with a tiny wisp of hair just licking at the air as a peach falls out of the trees above and you can see some of like the the leaves that like are falling to the ground um burn away as soon as they get into uh, a range of the, the the lava and you guys all feel the heat start to uh, push off now from the the bubbling lava as the peach falls into the the crib and the baby just goes to pick it up and then just take a bite out of it. But they haven't got teeth and they just hold on to it. And you just see them look up 
at you, Rocky, with oh. these beautiful green, uh, green blue eye, uh, turquoise eyes. Hey there. <laughs> I don't know how to talk to children. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> hey there. <laughs> You want to as the lava Baba? <laughs> <laughs> as the lava pulls away and as it pulls away Lofa boy you start hearing sound come into your ears once again as you hear the water rushing around you and you can see everyone just looking down at this uh, baby um that look, just looks up at Rocky as they are holding on to their peach. Peaches are cool. <laughs> it just like uh, makes bubbling cooing noises as it's just like trying to nibble on the peach. But you could, like it's got no teeth. It, it's got it can't do nothing to this peach. But it I, likes holding is it, it. Okay, is it um is it on fire? I like not anymore. It like, it's like in like this like molten uh, like in this rock um, cradle plinth that okay, like is now just it, like place itself onto the ground. It looks like it would be a dangerous thing to touch, I guess is what I'm asking. Like, is there, like, to the point where if I try to hold the baby at all, that I would be lit on fire or burn lava? That's you don't one. know, but there is no heat coming off of the area anymore, as soon as, okay. like, the lava I dissipates. put my swords away. Um, I don't know why I haven't yet, but uh, I put my <laughs> swords away. Um, and then I, I, I want to rock the, the cradle thing a little bit, mm -hmm. right? It's in a cradle? Yeah. As long as it's not hot or, like, burning me at all. Yeah, like, you almost instinctively, like, reach away as, like, you f imagine it's going to burn you. But it's pleasantly warm to the touch. And okay. the baby just keeps looking at you. Hi there. Uh, I'm Rocky. These are my my friends. Uh, uh, you won't remember their names if I told you. So, uh, I won't. I'll spare my voice. But, um. It just cooled uh, you. Who back? Um, <laughs> I want to pick it up. Actually, wait. I, I hand my I hand my melon sword to like. Can someone hold this? I, I hand it to oh. uh, 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 Satoshi. Uh, I goes forget his name. Yeah. Satoshi. Yeah. Yeah, sure. Uh, yeah, like, I can't hold both. Uh, no, I, I want to scoop up the baby. As you cautiously, cautiously. As you go to pick up the baby, you see yeah. three more peaches fall from the the tree above as pyromantic has raided us thank you for the raid pyromantic we're just uh we're just uh <laughs> playing some dnd right now i don't know I, what we're <laughs> <laughs> uh, we just uh, baby, <laughs> I think. also i'll say that whatever you said three more pages fall as like pyromantic because of like the fire theme i really yeah. thought like there was like a thing in the tree like, oh no pyro. yeah the yeah. Like, they do start to char as they get in like those three pieces that fall as they fall around the baby and into the crib they char just a bit but they uh but then like the baby just like goes to hold hold you and like let's go with the peach <laughs> okay does it look like a fire genasi is that what it I mean, you can roll inside to check, but like, I mean, like it's yeah, got like, a whistle of fire is it on like head. A, is it like a material, like, like I, person? I, I, or like, is it a spirit thing? <laughs> is this like yeah. a physical May baby? <laughs> As you guys are like questioning that, like, Satoshi's so like, no, yeah, it's 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 a baby. Um, yeah, well, we know I think that we knew it was a baby. <laughs> that was the one thing we weren't confused about. <laughs> I mean... Oh, this forest is so weird. But... What happens like if there's no one around? There, there will be... There will, if no one's around, someone... I think... Well, I say I think. They usually send someone to, to get them. Satoshi says. Ooh. What is this? I need to... I want to I wanna make silly faces at the baby like I'm trying to make it laugh. It, it does. It laughs very like gleefully as you pick as you hold it. I can't like put it underneath you. Someone's gonna put it like up here on your shoulder. Uh, okay, <laughs> like a parrot, parrot baby. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So wait, um, people will be come collecting these babies. Is this is is this what does Rocky know about this kind of whole process as a Janazi himself? You roll with Anything. disadvantage. History. What am I rolling? Okay. Well, I've well, had history already. <laughs> Lo, Nico. Um, you, oh, 
30, 20, and a 10. <laughs> <Aww>. <laughs> But yeah, like, Lonico, you you know this isn't a spirit. Like, there's, like, although, like, the energy swir swirling around the baby as, like, it, like, came into existence and before Rocky went to hold it, there was a overwhelming uh, spiritual energy surrounding, along with, like, magic just swirling around the child. But as soon as, like, um, Rocky touched the baby, that, like, kind of power, like, went, abs was absorbed in by the child. And uh, with your Ooh, ten, yeah. you, although like while at Kasakawa, you were being explained, taught uh, how the child of the state program works and like how the situ uh, children of the state situation is, you 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 heard a bit about how like when sometimes magic takes form into a Janasi child, um, you don't know what happens. You that part of the lesson completely drifted by. From your mind, you aren't aware how okay. um, what they but did. So, so, so Toshi, you you saying someone's yeah. going to collect it? What do you? Yeah. Well, I mean, it depends who's closer, Kasakawa or Tani. Like they'll they'll sense that the child being born, and they'll they'll come to it. Who's the better of the two? <laughs> I mean, both are Edo Sha. I mean, Edo Eo, uh, Hide Eo. They'll. It's, I mean, I would prefer they'll, Otani, I think. They'll treat the Otani's baby how Otani. we were treated then, huh? Or yeah. at least I was treated well, with my parents. My parents adopted me, and they'll, they'll put him put them through the, the state. What do you mean, your parents? Uh, like, my, is that what they told you to call the, the lords, or...? I guess you don't really know, and I, I don't know how much I've said before, but I—I I, I mean, I'm not from here. I'm from from Ronslock. Um, oh yeah, your accent. I mean, I assumed you were just on a mission. Or, until yeah, like, I'm, on a, I'm, on a, I'm on a mission. Yeah, I just I uh, Rocky kind of is a little hesitant because he doesn't really trust a lot of people. Mm -hmm. Um, but uh, like when he trusts Satoshi a little bit, but he also doesn't want to like say. Yeah, no, that's fair. That's fair. He, so he's kind of like, yeah, they just told me to call them. My, I call them my parents because they're essentially like parents to me. But yeah, they were just, you know, my my handlers. Um, Give me a second. <laughs> Randall just still shocked looking. Just is like, well, that was the first and hopefully last... Baby, I see burst out of the, the earth from molten lava. Yeah. Um, yeah. The um, yes, like okay. so. So she like looks confused and like perplexed about the whole like your situation. Like isn't like didn't know of like I, I didn't know they 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 they, they had programs over overseas. I I probably may have taken some. I guess case i suppose um i want what rocky wants this baby to be safe more than anything where, where what city are we heading to again otani or otani and that's the better of the two more or less i or at yeah. least satoshi thinks so yeah i mean like if you like wants to like satoshi like was going to go into explaining why uh if okay you let explain him. i mean no <laughs> shut your mouth no carry on <laughs> But yeah, no, like, I mean, smaller towns, usually it's, they're favored, they get to, they get the pick of what they want, usually, I guess. Um, I mean, I did. I've heard that bigger cities have problems, so, like, I don't, do you, do you remember, do you know what city you, you were assigned to before, like, you, you were shipped overseas, uh, Rocky? Do I? I forget. I know. Like, like, where I mean, was I born, is what I would, would, would want to say. Uh... Or forged, or however you want to put it. I don't. I would say like both. Um, you would not have like your parents wouldn't have told you. Like they okay. almost wouldn't have think it's relevant anymore. I I mean I be, I was a kind of shipped to Ron's Lock pretty early, so I don't remember. Well, mm. my my handlers were pretty hush about it all. I okay. suppose it's, it's interesting. Maybe that's why we didn't know. I mean, you're from Edo yeah. Shots, like that's. They they have to they've they've got their own things going so like they yeah. Mm. 
Yeah. I mean, well, I mean, Otani, like, maybe uh, we could, I mean, if we could take the baby to Otani and, like, they'll... Yeah. They'll give it a home. Uh, they'll, they'll, like... I mean, I didn't want for nothing when I was... When I was a child and even at school and stuff. Yeah. Mm. I I want to I will I will Yeah, I will keep the I'm gonna carry the baby. I don't know, it's the like the crib I don't doesn't seem movable thing. Like, yeah, it's just like a solid door. And as soon as like you take the baby away, it crumbles. Okay. Eventually. Well I am carrying the baby. Yeah, mm -hmm. I, I think it's best if we take the baby. I don't want it to be victim to to the uh the world, you know. Mm -hmm. At the moment. Well, I meant more the the nature of animals and melon guy if he comes this way or whatever. <laughs> um, um, what did you want to do by the way, Lofi Boy as well? Sorry. Is that how everyone is born? And I look at like Rattle, Polly, and Nico. No, no, no. So Toshi says no, no, no. Like I, it's a very special case. That's. I mean, that's how me and Rocky. Were born as well, but I mean, not like with the fire, of course. Like, I was probably with a bunch of war. I don't remember. I, I, and I mean, Rocky uh, probably with a bunch of rocks. I oh. don't know what gave that away. I wasn't there. Okay. Well, we should <laughs> we should get going. We should just. I hatched should... out of an egg, so. Oh. Oh, oh. Yeah. oh you probably. People still do that. I <laughs> was born. The way everybody else is. Uh, well, that feels incorrect. <laughs> I, I, Polly's just having a crisis. Like she, she didn't know <laughs> that there could be so many ways to be born. It's like changing her entire world. She's like, do I know anything anymore? Who am I? It's rude, it's rude to ask her how they're born. Yeah, like to be way. fair. Although uh, Polly and Lonika are native to Shreilo, yeah, you and even like you, Lofi Boy, you guys haven't like this isn't watching a Janasi be born is a very, very rare circumstance. You are, like this is the first time you guys have seen anything like this. Right, well. oh, so I'm gonna put the next playlist on. Um, right. I say we just keep going. I can can't we still hear the, the mech from from here, or...? No, because you hear a crash. Mm. Always one mm. thing after another. <laughs> I just want to chill. It's going to go take a stroll through the forest. You just hear <laughs> trees, wood, metal, stone. Collapse. Whoa. Okay. Okay. A lot of noise. Is it coming from this way? It like is way coming from or? that direction. Oh, oh, you just hear <laughs> a very pained groan as like it crashes to the ground, and just a okay. hev heavy splash in this direction. Maybe, it's hurt. Maybe another what baby kind of was born. Maybe it's a forged. <laughs> oh, okay. oh, okay. boy, before he runs what fun boy? Are you still deaf? Go that way. Is Lofi boy still deaf? Right up. No, 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 my, 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 my hearing came back. You can control uh, the baby now, Rocky, by the way. Okay, cool. Oh, I ate it. One second. Control. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, maybe, maybe that's not forged or, or born. Maybe there's a, a, a forged child. Oh, well, yeah, okay, so well. we're each just finding a baby today. That feels like a weird thing to happen. Don't uh, <laughs> okay. As you guys start looking in that direction, you can see, can you see a faint blue oh, glow from over here. Oh, oh, that doesn't look like a baby. From what I <laughs> that is a, um, that's a very large mech. Is what that is. Um, okay, you see, it's we can step by. with the light. You can see. You can just see it's like just submerged in the water. As like you can see, it's. Almost like fallen in, and its head's like fallen off, and you can just see it like struggle to move as like uh, uh. debris is covering it, like and it's scratched and just tarnished. You can like in the faint, like you can only see so much of it from where you are, but you can just hear it every now and then just making what an odd noise as it's like trying it. to 
What, what just is this? Scan. That is the ruins that you could see uh, looming over head. Okay. But like you can see like the base now, like as like it comes down into the water, you see this b- slick black stone. Okay. Okay. I know. I mean, what if someone's in danger? Can I do a magical awareness thing? How far is it from me? You I can. Think of a baby. Chill out on the back a little bit. Yeah, Satoshi. So gonna... now, you know. Satoshi does stay back with you when you go to look um, when you, uh, with the baby. Okay. What were you saying, sorry, Polly? I said, you know, we got a baby to think of now. Like maybe we should approach mm. this with a little bit of caution. Yeah, maybe. maybe we should go the direction where there isn't a giant mech. Yeah, that I I like that idea. He would also like that idea. I think the baby likes that idea too, isn't that right, baby? I just like. What do you think, little Joshua? What do you think? Um, (laughs) Joshua. As you ask that, you see the light in the mech's eyes go off. Did it die? Maybe maybe the mech's Joshua. (laughs) Joshua. We don't have to call it it Joshua. (laughs) As she goes back to pick on, uh, pick up a peach, and and uh, the peach just like. Rolled on, uh, rolled down into like the crevice between you and uh, your body and its body, uh, and she just starts numbing on the peach again. I want to play with the all over. a little bit with it. Like I want to, like you know, mm-hmm. put the peach in front of her, its her, its face. Her, I don't know. Yeah. Her. Uh, oh yeah. Like for the sake of like, this, it's a bit, this baby is a her. Joshua. Her name is Joshua. <laughs> <Girl>. <laughs> <laughs> well, now you have to be extra careful. But what if someone? Uh, we could name her Peach. Know. Peach could be That's, good. Oh, we are in a peach forest. But. That's really cute. <laughs> I, I know, like, it had nothing to do with, you know, fire at all, but, yeah. Oh, but it's really well, I mean, to like them. There was, there's, yeah. there's a story of Soranaga and Peach Boy. I think, okay. if anything, that's one of the more, more thing names. Okay, well, Peach it is. I mean, I don't know if we get to decide her name in the end of it, but Peach it is. She smiles <laughs> when you say that. As you play with this uh, drool-covered peach. Baby's so cute, it's gonna kill me! <laughs> okay, okay, guys, guys, can I just run and come back? Just just have a look. Like, I'm not gonna... Even if there's someone... I... You running? Can no. I... If you want to, you can run, you can run ahead. Oh, yes, in the group. Yeah, it, okay, look. It just powered down, maybe, but it might power back up. I don't know. Maybe it's going to be, like, activated on motion. But if you're willing to be that person that takes that risk, sure, I guess. I turn to Uh, I can't see where it is, um, but... Oh, come, come over here a little more. I think it might be blocked by... blocked by the tree. Oh, no, I can't. It's, it's, it's way out there. Like, like not not here. And I keep pointing. Oh, like, like past that like tree, past, past that tree, and then, and then it's there. Oh. It's quite far. <laughs> <laughs> That's why I would, I, I, would, I, would, I would just run, a, a, like, go, I would dash back, like, very quickly. Can you do it quietly? I can certainly try. We're all stealth. Nice. Yeah, you are able to be very stealthy. Um, what I've done basically is with some of the plants that's growing on my body, I have like some like overgrow at the uh, different joints of my body so that like it just sounds like rustling leaves that sound a bit like the rest of the trees mm-hmm. okay um I, I, I'll, I'll I'll do it then and um I guess I'll try to how much width I have <laughs> not that much okay 
I'll start moving next to this tree. Mm -hmm. And... Get here to observe the robot, just to see what it does. This is good for research. Uh, and... Then... That was a 15 feet, right? So I have... Okay, I'm gonna stop here. I'm using the chest cover because uh, uh, I'm gonna dash actually mm -hmm. um, to go behind the other tree. Mm -hmm. As you rush past the other tree, this is what you see. Oh, uh, I'm gonna point at uh, Lil Nico uh, and like and like point at my ear as if I am deaf again um, so that she can cast message. I shall cast message. And so through message, um, I'll say what I see. Um, it appears to be the head of a mech. Yeah, it's just like, this is some strange giant machine that you see. A lot of high boy, and you see it turn in your general direction as some crows linger overhead and just start cawing at it, and just start like curiously watching it. There's there's a hole in the forehead, and it just the... makes low growl and moan. The the mech. Yeah. Hit it again. As it you see okay. it once again, you see its eyes flutter blue, and then this time instead of like just dimming you see the lenses crack and you see it's white kind of like just shift in the water I and with my magical awareness that I that I've cast uh, huh huh with a magical awareness uh, was there any insight that I got from anything like in terms of like, I don't know, maybe uh, anything that would be behind total cover, I wouldn't detect. Mm. So maybe I don't detect anything, but you did I get anything from that? Would, you sense the faintest bit of necromancy. Like, um, it, like that's like the, you don't know, like no spell specifically, but the school of thought, school of magic necromancy coming from the giant mech as... But like, as like you like get like the faintest feeling of it, uh. and we're gonna take a break. Uh. So yeah, we'll see you guys in a hot second. Hope you guys. Shine a light through a prison full spectrum Pull the curtains back, you in my dimension Lay back and just forget the See where I come from, people 
never make a doubt I'm a five star brain in a two star town And I'ma give it back when I have enough money in my hands Enough for the friends and the fam And I owe it all to Yahweh Lord knows that I couldn't do it my way I won't spot a ticket for the fast lane Now I'm hopping on a flight to the Epiglades To forget the pressure
Bonsoir chat, we're back. Hi. You guys hey. can speak now. Hello. <laughs> Hello. Hello. As I'm trying to get the advanced works, I can hear the sound of Rotoni doing the things. Perfect. But yeah, um, you guys, sorry, uh, you're, uh, Rocky? I just want to say something. This is unrelated to the uh, uh, thing, but I, I met my I met my uh, my cousin's my cousin's son for the first time the other oh. like a, a little bit ago, like a, a couple months ago now. But he he also loved peaches. Like he would always just like be nomming on them, and that's what it wanted me to remind. That's what it reminded me of. But I couldn't. I was like I, I I didn't have a chance to say anything. But now here it is. That's cute. Carry on. That's crazy. That is so sweet. Peaches, a baby's best friend. What a coincidence, also, yeah, like... Yeah. <laughs> that's what I'm saying, that's shipping me out of. His name's Dylan, and he's really cute. Okay, um... Yeah, um... Yeah, so you... <laughs> okay. You guys see... But, um... Or oh, low problem, you see <laughs> the drowned mech just crashed as crows uh, flutter around the head of the mech just watching yeah okay uh, I'm gonna message uh, like point ear Lodico again to talk initiate another message uh, seance uh, very quickly <laughs> um, could you relay my idea um, and I would like to get a nod response from Randall um I would like to cast Entangle using part of my Herbalism kit to try to entangle whatever is inside and drag it out the hole through the hole of the forehead of the mech. Uh, do I have the green light on that? <laughs> no, I'm just gonna look up at Randall and like very quietly be like, um. Lo-Fi Boy wants to cast Entangle and try and pull out whatever's inside its head out of its head. He wants to be stupid, is what Yuki says. <laughs> From inside your what, head. What, what, like, what kind, of, what kind of thing is inside its head? Like, what does he want to pull out? Like, yeah. Uh, like, what? She's gonna use message and ask. <laughs> I think it's a creature or is it some mechanical components? Uh, uh... I can't see I, I get the feeling that there's something of a magical nature inside. And whether it's an object or a person, I, I'm guessing maybe potentially both. I, I'll try to focus on whatever feels most... Um, that has the highest energy. That's it. Well, I th I think potentially, I th I would say uh, I give you the, I give you the green light because you might just end up causing it to uh, to crash anyway and uh, br and uh, kind of not be not to be a problem for us anymore. So mm -hmm. I just oh right sorry I wait for little Nico too. <laughs> Randall gives you the green light. <laughs> okay, so I give a nod, and I'm willing to sacrifice my herbalism kit to the point of like it not being usable anymore. Um, because my goal is that like. Usually, usually herbalism kits are used like for healing, whatever. I know entangles it it's meant to be healing. I just don't. I want it to appear as least threatening as possible. So, in focusing um, entangle over there, um, from where you are. Uh, basically, it's a, a ninety feet point yeah. within range. And so, like, even though that I can't see uh, the inside, I, I would guesstimate, uh, you know, like, whether, like, to, to have it spawn from inside. Mm. And, like, whatever, like I said, highest energy, like, living or non-living, would 
like try to grab that and push it through the hole on top. Okay. All right. Roll for me. You won't need to roll anything. Um, but yeah, you. You won't need to use your herbalism kit. I will oh, allow no. you to be able to like cast and tangle from within. Okay. And like you feel these roots searching and reaching and like grabbing on hundreds of mechanical parts and wires and just tubes and just machinations and you're just like as your like roots are moving inside of it like you can you feel like it breaking from within it's collapsing and crumbling Uh and like you can you can feel like the like the machinery inside is just deteriorating and just like it isn't there's there is um it is just scrap metal essentially as like you continue searching and like trying to like um look for something you it gives off a hiss and you can see its mouth open as it begins to just go to make another roar as its jaw falls off and gets taken away by the tide and it falls further into the water creating another heavy splash as the the the, the mech thing yeah the mech am as i able to to run alongside it so that it stays within the 90 feet range the the mouth because oh, that's the the mouth that's fallen off not the not the like the head oh, the mouth yeah just oh, like the oh, lower so the underjaw has just fallen off I see never mind never mind okay okay and okay you, you guys see like uh, getting taken away by the water the 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 jaw of the mech and you continue searching and you're trying to grasp and you spend a few minutes looking prying the inside you can't find anything. What like, you're magically aware of has left. Long, well, not long ago, but like moments after you just like detected it. Okay. As you just see the ravens and um, on the the trees, just look down at you, lo-fi boy, that are up here. They just look in your direction and start like cawing and just making noises in your direction. Okay, so uh, I turn to to Lil Nico again, point ear. (laughs) 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 Yeah, um, so... Uh, searched inside, um, just broken parts, whatever magical presence that I felt before has already left the head. Uh, Mr. Randall? Mm, He didn't find anything, but he said the magical presence he felt. Uh, left has left the the head of the mech. Do you think it's safe for us to go that way now? I would imagine it's a lot safer now. Yeah, like that, especially with that jaw even coming off. That seems it seems like the thing is in pretty bad shape in general. So maybe we can approach. I'm gonna wave to the others behind. <laughs> Come, the dog. She just says, "We're going now." Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah. Hang out back behind them too, just because I have the baby. Mm. So uh, Satoshi will pat you on the back and like kind of like guide you forward, and would be like on your back as like you're moving the baby. If you want, what I can do is I can like take the baby away, and then we just know the baby's with you. Sounds good. <laughs> if you're inventory as all children, <laughs> <laughs> backpack fire baby. <laughs> can I? Roll? Satoshi gives you a nod. Yeah. 
Can I roll history to see if this is possibly the mech that we may have seen in the in the prison, or is it, or are they just all very generic? Like you won't need to roll because you recognize this immediately as one of the mechs <sighs> in the hangar that you fought. I recognize it too. Yeah, you guys, you both Wait. recognize it immediately. Oh, oh, dang! Every I'm oh. still being stealthy, okay? Everything okay? No, I'm uh, still being stealthy. Oh yeah. I'm just saying. Yeah, no, you, you, I, you, you see these, okay, okay. Them, you yeah, see them yeah. crawl towards Wait, the I'm, ruin. I, I, I want everybody to come, come near me. Like, I'm just gesturing everybody. Like, like come here. Okay. Uh, yeah. uh, and then I'm going to cast uh, my, my merge with stone. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> um, I believe, I don't know if I can. I think it's up to six people. We can, you can put it in chat for me. It doesn't say, it just says, it's passive all traits. I don't know ah. what passive all traits is. I can look it up. Uh, it is... Creature you can see 30 feet, up to one hour, and it is... Uh, creatures, uh, any creatures, each creature you choose within 30 feet. I guess it doesn't have a max. Yeah, it doesn't have 30 a max. Feet. Okay, yeah. cool. Then I pick everybody, including Peach. Mm -hmm. But now we get plus. Uh, pl everybody has plus ten to their to their stealth checks. Peach will go Here. along your uh, stealth roll. Yeah, I mean, fair enough. But I I put the I, I, got, I put the binky or like a peach part in her mouth to yeah. make sure she doesn't like whine. <laughs> you know, she's happily eating or oh, eating at her peach. Yeah, yeah, nomin on the yeah. 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 <laughs> twenty four, twenty nine. Uh oh yeah, I guess I should probably do this one. Huh? Uh, yeah, there, there are ACUs. Oh, um, oh Polly. 19, oh, no. 25, oh, 14, oh, 14. Oh, oh, To be fair, though, with all the noise that's going on around you in the stream, you aren't seemingly aren't attracting the attention of anything except for the odd crow that is just, like, looming over you all as a, um, in the treetops above. But nothing pays you any mind in the forest there's there's ACUs um, they they were crawling away from the mech basically is that what I saw yeah you saw them crawl away they if they were crawling away they're probably in bad shape um is wait do ACUs have that kind of I don't have Oh, but they're forged, and I'm forged, and I know that's probably, I, I'm pretty confident that the ACUs are what I, do I know that, do I even know that they're called ACUs, by the way? I think we refer to them, uh... Yeah, right, so. okay, thanks. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, I'm pretty confident that was what I felt from the mech, and so we can assume that mechs aren't safe, but I think judging by the crow's behaviors that they were kind of like, uh, what noise do they make? They crow? They caw. Yeah, caw. Caw, yeah, that. I would they say the crow at, they, they, they do the, they made the noise at, at the ACUs and I'm not sure Randall, what are your thoughts on ACUs? Should we leave them alone or just dispose of them before we leave? We should dispose of every single ACU we come across, especially if it sees me or Rocky. Yeah. Are these things, um, Polly's like very confused and like lost, like never seen something as giant as this in her life. Yes, yeah, huge. Uh, is this something you guys deal with um, regularly or? Hmm. There, there was that one time with Von Nico, right? We saw three of them in the distance. Three? Okay. They were leaving Kasakawa. Roll me, Polly, uh, a history check. Oh, yep. Yeah. I'm just going to keep walking stealthily uh, to make sure that the AC aren't going mm -hmm. too, too far. Mm -hmm. uh, that's what I thought. Yeah, Polly, you, you, you haven't seen this specific design, but yeah, like you've like you've seen things 
giant mm-hmm. mechanical things leave the mountains every now and then. Okay. It's not like it's not common, but it's not like rare. Cuz like the mm-hmm. like the, the main like a hidden uh, factory of mechs is on Kasakawa Island and like you've grown up here your entire life. You've you've seen you've seen a few. It's still like rare and it's still always a shock cuz like they they are tools of war. So like this is still like a very makes sense. Terrifying thing. <laughs> yeah, a little bit. Um, they haven't made it very far. Uh, I still see a, like one of its weapons, but they're they're just around the the corner though. I, I'm, how deep is the the how strong was the river? Because its jaw, the jaw of the thing, just yeah, it, it took it away. So it's pretty strong here. It's. Just- just a quick question also, sorry, about, like, the ACUs from earlier. Like, with what we know about ACUs, like, did they communicate with these ones? Or can they communicate that far? You don't. Mm, roll me intelligence. That scares me. Just the thought Just that, like... like, like flat intelligence, yeah? Intelligence that scares me so much. You might have heard from an engineer. Or even Kano, maybe. No. You, but you... The idea slips your mind. Satoshi just also then just pipes up. Do you, should we maybe, like, find a little clearing and rest in there for a bit? I mean, Rocky, you're looking pretty worn. Yeah, you I, I think that's probably for best. We did. Satoshi, you can't catapult me, right? <laughs> I mean, I can try. Do you want me to try? Yeah, hello, Nico. You you know Featherfall, correct? Yes. Yeah, then uh, unless unless you you also know the fight spell, I think, right, Satoshi? I, yeah, I can fly. It's just, we can rest, but if we rest, they also rest, and, well, then... But we're, like, I mean, if the ACUs are those robot things, Mm. like, I don't, like, how easy do you find your own personal recovery, Lo-Fi Boy? As, As a mechanical being. Like, do you need to put on new parts? Is it? What do you like, mean? Like, you, you're you're shelling. Like, like if if the ACU are looking worse for wear and just crawling away, and like they've got nothing to like rec- re- re- recuperate themselves, maybe they're not in a state to heal. If we and even then, like I think I still think there's more of us, and our our chances are better than a couple of ACUs. Do you know how many there were? I could only see two, maybe three, but I I couldn't tell how many there were. No. So could, we could try to just fly over and just assess that at least and come back. I mean, if you if you want, just just information. Well, what? Why are they crawling into this temple in the first place? Like, I don't there, know. They, it's not even they're like, being drawn. When you possibly, sorry, what you like, what you see of the temple is is just ruins. Um, these they look to have like been abandoned years ago. Like the the stone is turning to dust and crumbling away. But like, yeah, like so, it's not like an actual building. It's just like walls that like are falling apart amongst the trees. How much do I remember from having had to recuperate and, you know, become, like, this half-plant thing? I mean... Uh, what I, my, my mem- the memory I'm, like, looking for is in trying to answer with Satoshi's, like... Question. Could they use the environment to, like, become part and then, you know what I mean? Can, like, absorb yeah. part of the environment? Cause like you are a very special case, Lo-Fi. 
with how like you you don't even heal like your what is healing is the plant within you like your carapace breaks you are falling apart in many places and like you had katsumi like do a little checkup on you to like right. put bits together but like yeah you are not like like you are falling apart and, like it's actually funny looking at those acus you could almost see like yourself in them with how like just disheveled they are and crumbling I mean, I, I'm I'm all for resting, but I'm also I also understand Lo-Fi Boy's perspective that like they could go somewhere and do something to get stronger and come back. And who knows what they know already? I mean, we could send we could send Lo-Fi you if you wanted to go scout ahead. I can cast fly on two of you to like go look. While we 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 set up a camp. sounds fine and we retreat as soon as there's something wrong mm -hmm. maybe i mean like what like whatever you feel like yeah when you feel you're in danger i think like it's best to come back don't like mm -hmm. overextend yourselves randall you up for it i'm up for it yeah but you won't need to be uh Using a slot of uh, your your fly for me because I can fly myself. Oh. And uh, I sprout my giant. Oh, it did not work. One second. I sprout my giant crystal wings. You don't need. To, you can click two side. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's not working <laughs> though. There we go. Oh, are. there we go. Yeah, your oh. wings just like kind of like glass forms and like crystals grow into these floating wings. Like they they aren't touching your body, are they? They just like kind of form around. No, nope, they just kind of like form around and they, like, yeah, just start. They look crystalline like shards. Just mm. You see, off, like the blue markings on Randall's body actually start glowing when they form. And like Pretty there's cool, this right? aura just surrounding him as it happens. Uh, as Satoshi also then turns to like Rocky, Loni, and Polly, like you guys find them going ahead and then we just set up a camp. I think I think it'd be best to like at least get some recuperation. Yeah, I think yeah. so too. Come. This let's... 25 stealth should help. <laughs> uh, do, do you mind ca casting flight before you go, Satoshi? Yeah, no, yeah. Um, if you guys want to just like, like you guys like, we'll put like you guys will kind of like in this corner, but like, yeah. Um, Satoshi just like comes over to you, uh, Rocky, um, not Rocky, sorry, Lofi, but and taps you on the shoulder as you feel like water trickle down your back and then form into these giant wings. They kind of sprout out of the small of your back into these four wing watery wings that like look like waves crashing in on themselves every feather a different uh, arcing wave making no sound as they just kind of collapse and roll or over themselves that should do you um oh and just take this Sunflower. Oh. oh, thank you. And, and I, I, I whisper to the sunflower, like, if you hear my voice, uh, try to guide me where you are, like, in the leaf speech. And, and, and then I, I, I guess, I, if I, I see, oh, well. I'd probably fumble like this. <laughs> <laughs> Just like no five more goes. Thank you, Satoshi, and I guess we start flying. Yeah, Satoshi's like gives you ban. Like I'm, I'm here to serve. As um, they're gonna take like they're gonna walk the rest of the group over to like the little clearing and like make a little camp. Um, and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna give Randall and Rocky ten IRL minutes. I'm gonna give you both ten minutes to just start your flight and like searching. And doing your thing. You mean Randall and Lofi? Randall and Lofi, yeah, sorry. 
All right. Okay. Let's go, little five boy. Uh, let's try not to go too fast around corners. Sorry, I get so excited with these wings. Yeah. This area is uh, slightly uh, inclined up, by the way. Okay. As like you make your way up there. As you can hear the scraping and scratching on stone. As you see through this like crumbled on the crumbling through the walls um, of these ruin uh, the high black slick uh, ruins. You can see a um, where there's a collapse that like you guys can go through. You can also fly over if you wanted to. Uh, and as can you I, get, like peek over the wall, yeah. <laughs> yeah, sure. Yeah. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do this. As you peek, can, oh, you, can you see through the wall? Okay. Yep, I can see through the wall. Oh. Perfect. And uh, I'm whispering go. all of this. As you are looking oh, boy. <laughs> through over the wall, you you would also get a chance to look at the walls, as you can see carved in um, carved into the stone bricks and walls. Give me a second. Like you can see lichen and shrooms growing all over it. As you can see, uh, detailed carvings into the stone of koi fish, ravens, and dragons are swirling around and just um, in various stages of flight, swimming, and just uh, movement. Um, and like, but they like it's very like they're in relief, so like they kind of like come out of the stone or into carved into the stone. And like they like be, with how like black and slick and oily the stone is, it only really kind of like becomes clear with the light. Um, but yeah, the root like the other than that, like the ru the ruins are a mess. As you can just hear uh, a waterfall trickling, as um, you can hear from within the walls the the, the stone um, like what a water feature essentially. Give me a second as I find the waterfall. So 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 no. Yeah, you can see these um, ACUs crawling over the stone and cracks and just debris and the moss and the lichen. And over these roots that have grown over and into and broken into the stone, as like uh, old, withered, uh, tr uh, warped trees push out of the st uh, ground as well, with their leaves, um, their colorful leaves hanging over the canopy. Let's let's wait to see which way they go, Love High Boy. Okay. Um, is it okay if we try to be a bit not too close, but at the same time, if they're going towards something, we should probably stop them before they get there. No. Well, I just uh, sure, but I don't know if we want to go full on full full oh. attack mode right away. Like I I just don't want them to notice us right away. No, that's fair. So which one did too close? Stealth skip. We got I had a twenty-five, I think, with that plus ten. Yeah. I had mine at twenty-nine with a plus ten so as well. Mm -hmm. Pretty good, but I think yeah. I'd still like to stay a little a little You see Three of the ACUs try to leap over with like they use their arms to like try and like throw themselves over oh, boy. the um over the the gap in the waters. And two make it but you see one just completely collapse under its own weight and just fall apart as his head just drops into the water and like white fire bursts out of it. And the third one doesn't even like make it like past the pillars. Um, as like it itself just like you see its blue energy just deplete and it just kind of drops and just falls to the ground. Drained of all its energy. I was like, you can like when you get closer, you can see like they are like covered, they are in rags and they are shattered and crumbling and just decrepit and like just warped and twisted over all like the like from like the heat of the explosion and all just like the water pushing them around and just like just everything that's happened in the past mo uh, few hours. And this is back out into the forest. This yeah, is that, that goes okay. back out. If you want to roll perception for me. I, mm, would it be a perception check to see if one of them looks in worse shape than the other, or it, it it's equivalent? Um, no, no, I'd say like you, they're they're like kind of both in like the same state of just like absolute okay. just disrepair. They are falling apart. Did you want to roll perception as well, uh, if I would? Yeah. Okay. Uh, 
sure. Just uh, as yeah, that's looking out. Uh, uh, during that time, uh, I have a weird idea. Depending on how much information we want to gather from their behavior, there was this really one time where we were fighting this kind of like yokai creature. Looking at the white flames in which it just burst into, and that we've seen before. If I cast this specific specific spell, it, it might just heal them a little bit. Is that really a good idea? As you are concerned that you also see in the waters with your high perceptions, you can see the remains of a giant snake worm-like Whoa. creature just in the waters. And like oh. the water, like it's like it goes deep, but like it's you, uh, you just you can see like right down. Like the water here is very pristinely clean, as like it trickles downwards. Well, not I downwards. don't want to get too, too distracted, Lo-Fi Boy, but that's a fascinating skeleton in the water right there. And like, can you okay. see? You can it just is. you like fo- if you follow the stream, you can see like into like this like other like chamber. Like you can see all these corridors going off of the river, and like that, like on these, like the river, like is on a lowered platform. By the way, you have three minutes left. Uh, sorry, four minutes left. Oh my god! <sighs> okay, you know what? I'm looking down that hallway over there. Oh man! And you can see I a fire like... flicker over here. Should we? Should we just stop the the, the one that's remaining? I think that we should. I think that'd probably be the best idea. Okay, let's do that now and hurry back. Okay, let's go. Oh, there is more. What is the arrow? Oh, man. Those Did you see the one like in the, the arrows? Room? What is this? Yeah, there's arrows here. What? The arrows are like not actually on the map. That's just so you guys know those steps go upwards. Oh, okay, okay thank you. I was about to say, like, what about this room? Okay, okay. oh, wait. Is Where'd that the same one? It's over here, over here. Okay. Okay, let's just try to catch up to it. Holy crap, holy crap. Okay, run, 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 run. Okay, stab in the back, stab in the back! Yeah, just stab! Go ahead. Roll to attack. <laughs> come on, come on. You got thank advantage, you. by the way. Oh, I do? Okay, thank you. Do we both do? Okay, well, thank God for that, in a sense. Yeah, you, both okay. do. <laughs> yeah, you both have advantage. Ten damage. Roll damage. The hits. Yeah, like this, like before it even like reacts, you guys swoop down on it. You've just your force push it like almost like pushes it into the ground. As you see, just like uh, like pieces fall off of it, and both your blades plunging into it just cause it to like just shatter and explode. As the rest of you guys can hear echoing uh, through off like the stone, you hear. The sudden jitters are and shriek of the ACU that you guys have just killed as it just erupts into fun. You guys can just screams. see the faintest of white fires uh, off in the distance. Um, you guys, like just like a flash of light above the canopy, and this one's gone. But you can see around this fire a swarm of ravens. Perched on the bricks and the trees. I mean, on the trees, aren't on the stones. Well, lo fi boy, I think. Uh... Oh, okay. They don't look to you, though. Yeah, yeah, that, that's it. We, we, we you have got one minute left before your wings go. Okay, let's go, let's go, let's go. Get out of here. Let's go here. Over here, over here, Randall, Randall. Oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. Down where the runic arrow was. There was another ACU there, it moved. What? Can we go down the... Let's... Let's... This... Up. <sighs> okay, okay, that's it. That, we're, we're gonna... Let's go back. I just wanted to see... I, I saw... Okay, sorry, I'm trying to... To, these wings are really hard to maneuver with, I'm really not used to it. It's okay, it's okay, yeah. It, get, it takes a little bit of getting used to. This we can just fly over, right? On, at this height? Before you even consider that, Lo-Fi Boy, could you roll me a deck save? Oh, 
And Randall, could you also roll me a deck save? Twenty-three. Oops. Randall, Sorry, you birthday. are able to fly over as like your wings just collapse on themselves. You grab onto the brick and clamber over, pulling yourself to the other side. Now you're on. You're standing on top of the wall as you see and hear Lo-Fi Boy thunk as he hits into the stone below. Your wings are gone. Lo-Fi Boy. How high were you high flying, Lo-Fi Boy? Are you, are you trying to get to the height of the the wall? Lo-Fi Boy? Uh, I was, yeah. All right. So I would have been at that high. You take 15 falling damage. Oh. Okay. As you just crash into the ground. And you guys can hear also the like plummet of like metal smash into stone. Mm. As Randall, you can see Lo-Fi Boy <laughs> has hit the floor. Okay, uh, I'm not, I'm not going to hesitate. I'm just going to pick myself up and like... Try to as sneakily left, but I have, have uh, to just run out of time. Okay. How, how tall is this? Like, can I just climb down? It's 30 feet, but you can climb down oh, if you want to roll. Okay. Can if I? You, I uh, you want to what? I would help. You wouldn't be able to help until he reaches about 10 feet. Um, but if oh, you is roll, that right? With disadvantage, uh, roll me a acrobatics or athletics check to try climb down 20 feet and then uh, with advantage you or not with advantage with just oh, 20 feet oh, God. the walls are 30 feet high so it's an 11. 30 11 so you ju- you slip every now and then on a few of the stones but you are able to like get your feet to like um perch themselves into like one of the nooks of like some of the birds or the dragons and um are able to make your way down until like you reach 10 feet and if you want to roll me uh, acrobatics once more well, with, adv- with advantage? No, without, with nothing. Because, like, the stone is just very slick. It's slippery. And, like, you don't hear 16. the waterfall anymore. Yeah, no, you, without, like, yeah. The, with the Lo-Fi Boy's help, you are able to make yourself down to the bottom. Thanks for the help there, Lo-Fi Boy. Yeah. Bad spot to be caught in. Yeah. I'm glad we... Uh, how are we going to get across here, though? How yeah? How tall of a climb is it to like the head? The head is about oh. um, ten feet above the water. Wait. Uh, okay, I'll I give you a boost. Probably... Wait, wait, wait. There's we can probably get on top of the uh, Cheech. I don't know if you knew, but I oh. named I named it Cheech. As you just see the stone dragon. Give me a second. Let me see how long it needs to rest. Because it might not have fully rested. Uh, it says it needs a long rest. And uh, it, yeah. on my sheet, it, it have, was a reset. So. Yeah, no, yeah, you've long rested. Yeah, you just see like this stone dragon that uh, Lo-Fi Boy pulls out. Kind of like start moving. And then it start growing as it starts moving. And turn into this giant uh, stone sculptured dra- um, uh, wolf lion. Covered in like swirling, ma- uh, swirling carved mane that like doesn't move, but like it looks very elegant. As you see these green gem crystals, uh, just glint as it stares at you and twists his, uh, tilts its head as a stone tongue comes out and it just looks at you happily. If this will definitely help. Yeah. It's also we, we, Hi. So. Oh. Give me a hand here. Yeah, of course. It just needs a, a, a 10 feet running start, and then we can jump across the river. This assistance is... Yeah, I mean, we'll, we'll move a little bit here. There. And then this will be 10 feet, and then 25 feet will just... Okay, actually, I'm sorry, this is a bit awkward. But we're, we're both on top of its back right now by this point, right? So let me just... Uh, from here, you just and like then ten from and a, then twenty-five, like there. From across like, the water, <laughs> you guys hear just the heavy footsteps of stone crashing in, into and s- caving in the giant mech's head. As like you just see Lo-Fi Boy and Randall leaping off of it, um, off of uh, off of it using Cheech. As you just hear, yeah, the the whole thing just like, and as soon as you leap off it. 
the head caves in on itself and it gets taken by the water. Are you guys on the other side? We're on the other side. I will say with Tenryu's having done, uh, got, done uh, gone about, what would uh, Rocky, Polly, Lo, uh, Nico, and Satoshi have been doing? Satoshi would have been like preparing to set up a uh, camp. <clears throat> like, what would I'd you be doing a lot of the same, helping out, and then also kind of keeping Peach or whatever we're calling her uh, a company, uh, mm-hmm. distracting her and playing with her or whatever. I, I actually I do want I do want to ask Satoshi more about what he knows about Genasi. Yeah, you can yeah. stuff. Uh, like just really, I, I don't even know really where to begin to ask or what to begin to ask, but I just kind of like, what, like what historically speaking, like, what do you know about everything? Just, just teach me like I know nothing, which I pretty much do. So, I mean, I mean, there's basics. I was like, you guys are just like start gathering, um, dry twigs and just also like having, uh, set up the, uh, the tent and starting just creating a little a seating area and a little fireplace going. Uh, over like the 10 minutes that everyone else is away. Um, Low Nico and like uh, Polly, you guys would be happy to, if you guys wanted to discuss anything or, and add interject or like uh, say anything you guys would be allowed to. Um, so she just kind of is just speaking to everyone. Um, I mean, like, I, I know as much as like most do, like in the school system, I guess. Um, I didn't really care much for history or magic. Well, I, I say that. Uh, as like you see them start just doing a bit of, like prestidigitation, uh, like sparkling magic around them, but like I mean I was, I was gifted with like I'm I'm, I'm a sorceress, so, like it wasn't much for me to worry about, but like yeah I mean mm. we would some t- like I mean I was obviously like yourself was in the child of the state program we've we, we, we well I mean I I don't know like are you 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 what 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 your living situation with Ranslak was I mean I. I was um, I was in Kengala and I was uh, led by Shia de Marula uh, Akita of Mari. Um, I mean, yeah, like I grew up around a wealth of wonderful uh, fighters, wizards, and even sorcerers. Um, there was a few priests here and there, and uh, they were all yeah, like we we all we were all happy to be a part of the system. We all we all we all thought it was. It was pretty swell. We didn't like there was no need to worry about like where we would go, what we would need to do. We we had everything sorted. We ha- always had a home. Always had. I mean, I like up for like how little I enjoyed most of school. There was I was able to do what I wanted. Um, but yeah, I mean, like, and like I I didn't grow up around like I grew up in a pretty small part of uh, Kangala, so like I. That's why I can assume is they'll probably be better than um, than any of the cities. I more children, more 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 problems. I guess, right? Yeah. Um. I mean, I guess do you know of a place or or people I could talk to that I could I hopefully find a bit more information, more than just what they would teach in school. I guess. I mean. Can you get in contact with like your 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 program? Your your parents? Uh, uh, not oh, not terribly. I mean, I can talk to my parents, but they don't they don't say much. They like to keep it a little hush. And I guess I want someone that's a little bit more separated from me and my life to tell me a bit more about a bit more about it. Captain. No. Oh, yep. Yeah. <coughs> your um not still part of the state system, are you? Oh no, I left. I left a while back. Is there Sorry. a reason why? Mm. Yeah, um... When, I mean, like, those fighters and, like, those wizards I talked about. Oh, before, like, uh, before he goes into you will also answer, like, Rocky. I mean, well... I mean, maybe we'll find someone in Otani that will want to talk, surely. I mean, there's the issue like you are a Chinasi, uh, Chinasi. As you see them pat themselves on the head, and you see their body shift from a blue skin to a light tan, mm. um, and their hair looking more like wet kelp instead of like water, oh. and they turn into essentially a she and elf. Um, oh, okay. Uh, I mean, like I, I guess <clears throat> I, I can. 
sort myself out. We could, I mean, maybe like I, we could, like I could ask the questions and like we we talk it out with them, but like. Yeah. Well, we 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 can we, we can figure this out. I think we we've got this. A turning okay. <laughs> back to low Nico. Um. Yeah. No. I. When when I was on my my job was on I would be escorting uh, to traders. Um. When I was um. When I was part of the program and like when I came of age, they like they 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 didn't see. I didn't have much potential as a fighter. I didn't do much on the court. They um. But I enjoyed sailing, and like they saw, I was, I was good at that. So they 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 had me escort us uh, traders across across the ocean. Um, but like as as the years passed, like I'd, I'd, those fighters, I would talk about those warriors, those wizards and sorcerers, when they'd get called up, and um, when I when I had to go to their funerals, and like I'd see the people I I grew up with dying around me, I. I, 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 I thought it was about time or oh, it'd be coming there'd be a time where I would uh, I would be called up to to have to join the war um, I mean you you, you, you see how it is uh, Edo Shai is I mean they've I, I don't even have a home anymore so like it's not um, there's nothing for me to fight for anymore anyway but uh, when when I was sailing I, I decided I'd I would leave and become a hero. Um, I tried piracy. It's not. I don't really like that. Isn't really my lifestyle. I don't know if you could tell. Uh, they say yeah. kind of like laughing at themselves. <laughs> um, but like then I um, during one of the one of one of a raid, uh, we I came across this one fine boat, um, and I um, I decided to. Um, Instead of um, doing the pirate thing, I, I decided to, uh, to turn cloak once again, turn hero for for the pirates too, and uh, that's how I met Mr. Say. I, I I saved their life, and and uh, the Richmonds gifted me a, a a life debt to pay, and uh, that's and it's losing that life, um, the life debt I owed to to the system. Um, of of now, I I have a life that paid to me, so I think so. Like, and that's how I I I'm here. I I would chauffeur for Mr. Sayer. I I was given a new life uh, as he as he travelled across the world to go into book signings, talking and doing his explorations. I um oh goodness, this is funky. <laughs> <laughs> this just completely took me out for a second. <laughs> Yeah, um, I I I, w- I would show fur for the rich man, and like now, um, I wouldn't say put in your service, but like, I mean, I'm I'm, I'm enjoying spending my time with you, and it's one yeah. for me in, one for like yeah, take this journey. I'd like, I enjoy flying, I enjoy traveling. It's this is ideal. Fair enough. If Polly, you also have any questions, you are more than welcome to ask. Like, <laughs> like if um, anyone, if um, anyone wanted to like ask anything or had any thoughts, I don't think they have have any questions. I think Polly's mostly just like she's staying sort of on the edge of the group because she's like an outsider, um, you know, and she's not trying. To, they're clearly having a moment, mm. and she's very much trying not to interrupt that moment. So she's just sort of like tending, like checking to make sure none of her wares were were like broken during that entire crazy chase scene um that we've been through the last two sessions uh and and just like keeping an ear on things but trying to be respectful and stay Mm. a distance did any of you guys have uh, any more things Uh, you wanted to ask so yeah when like there's the silence just kind of like fills the floor for a second um, Satoshi would uh, see Polly uh, checking their wares. Oh, is that some of the stuff you your the things you you make? Um, yeah, I I actually make instruments. Uh, I was that's what I was I was cutting through the forest actually to 
um, try to sell some of them, but uh, clearly that wasn't in the cards for me. Um, sorry, I'm a, I'm a little, a little bitter about it, uh, but it's fine. Uh, I have to go home, and you know that's fine. Oh yeah, as like you say, as you say that, and you guys all kind of like look up to the sky for a second. You still see um, that green smog and uh, aura just emanate off the erupted mountain, and you see white powder drift from the sky and just start like just placing himself onto the ground as ash starts falling from the sky. Seem very good. Oh. What kind of instruments do you, do you make? Uh, Polly asks. Uh, I mean, no, Satoshi asks. <laughs> <laughs> I ask myself. <laughs> um, I ask myself that all well, the time. I make all, all kinds of, of instruments, but the one I was looking in particular to sell was this, um, and she like takes it, like, I guess she had it on her lap or, or whatever, because she was tending to it, is this hurdy-gurdy, actually. Um, I, I've been working on it for a really long time, and I'm really proud of it, but nobody wants the damn thing. I mean, you don't see a lot of hurdy-gurdy players here in Sri Leo, to be fair. I, I mean, I guess not, but something, and it's not really the kind of thing that I usually choose to make, but something just told me that I needed to, you know? Ah, somebody's gonna call it. I mean, like, as like that's, like, I guess, like, like with us and the baby fate, maybe got us here. Peaches, is that what we we decided to name her? Looking yeah, the the baby's peach. 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 Yeah, I mean, peach. I mean, like, yeah, like, um, fate brought us. Teach her how to play the hurdy gurdy. What? I mean, maybe I that's. Here? I think she might be a little a little small to hold it right yet but well, i don't know maybe i'm, she, she I'm saying learn. you know we can you know how like parents like stuff like, throw their children on stuff that they never could do as a child uh, as a child themselves or never learned how to do you know putting your kid into some type of sport when you could never do a sport or whatever uh we you want to give her trauma we will give her no we'll give her a hurdy-gurdy <laughs> because and then she'll grow up learning that hurdy-gurdy as you and then come say to that, present it and like random as you ask what uh, so she, oh yeah, she, Polly. Polly makes uh, says she made a hurdy gurdy. You made Welcome a hurdy gurdy. A hurdy gurdy. Uh, a hurdy gurdy. A hurdy gurdy. <laughs> no one around here when I <laughs> talked about a hurdy gurdy a, a bit ago knew what that seemed to be. Yeah, so I mean like yeah, like it's like you don't see those around here. Oh. I don't know what they are. Like I've never seen this thing before. So I don't it's, know what hurdy gurdy. It's like some is. weird synthesizing looking to, machine. It's fascinating to know that someone out there is making a hurdy gurdy. You know how to yeah. play one, Randall? I do know how to play a hurdy gurdy. Oh, are you? Uh, and she like puts on her like businesswoman voice. Are you in the market to buy a hurdy gurdy? <laughs> <laughs> how, how much? Are we, how much I mean, are we talking for this hurdy gurdy? And she like really quickly like spits out seven hundred gold, or whatever the currency is. Yeah, gold. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, going to, I'm going to check my pockets. She's not like a very a good businesswoman. She doesn't know. <laughs> As how if I would have that works. much gold in my pockets. Uh, <laughs> yeah, that's a little bit out of my price range right now, if I'm being honest. Mm. Well, I but guess if you don't really you have to... want this hurdy gurdy, I do. I'll just put it away. You did say you were struggling to get someone to buy it, Polly. Shh. <laughs> I'm trying to haggle here. <laughs> I mean, Look, if, I'm, um, if I'm being um, transparent here, I literally only have 15 gold on me. <laughs> I see. Uh, maybe we could. I could maybe give you 50. Could... Oh. Okay. I mean, if you're willing to, if you're willing to do that for me, Lodi Coin, I would greatly appreciate it. As the talk, she starts a fire. I mean, no, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 
All right. <laughs> so what we're saying is you have about 65 gold total and the original price was 700. <laughs> it looks like I mean, we're in a circle. <laughs> We've saved you in these woods, haven't we? Like, you would have had to fight the, the watermelon guy alone, right? That, I mean, but the watermelon guy, we he kind of he kind of vibed with me because, you know, I was so small. And we saved you from an Oni? Exactly, Ooh, you yeah. did save me from an Oni. I, jeez, you guys make a good point. Well, you keep going back and forth on being friends with this watermelon guy, and I don't know if I appreciate that. I think we were friends so much as he didn't want to kill me. And, you know, if you don't want to kill me, then you're pretty good in my books. Basis for friendship. <laughs> That's my only basis for friendship. If you don't want to kill me, then yeah. come on in, buddy. I'm making friendship bracelets. I think you need to talk about that to a professional. I think being I... saved from an Oni is worth at least 650 gold. That's, that's yeah. what I'd say. I don't know where that puts us with the math, but... From one musician to another, Polly. Mm -hmm. I'll spread the word about your craft. Oh. Okay, now now Polly is interested. She, like, leans forward and she's like, Do you know Do you know a lot of, of, a lot of bards who need, like, instruments? Like... What are your connections? Well, we travel a lot and go to many different places. And I'm a pretty good bird myself, so I can get people to listen. Hey. Hey, Polly. We'll give you a shout out every time. Have you ever heard of the, the famous lo-fi boy? Because that, that's her. That's me. <laughs> that's that's you. That's I me. Mean, I... You want to check if you know who lo-fi boy is? <laughs> yeah, let's roll. Uh, I hate this. <laughs> <laughs> I hate this. So, <laughs> I'm gonna say, like it. roll it. either. <laughs> like, does Polly like try to like fit in? Does she try to like no like, stay with the trends? I think if she didn't know something, she would definitely pretend to <laughs> know it, so she didn't look like an idiot. Roll. <laughs> <laughs> History <laughs> check just to see if you do know then Lofi. Because Lofi was a fairly popular uh, musician over across the seas. You've heard the name, and you can't. You've not. You've heard. You've heard the the memories of them uh, actually having a uh, concert coming up in uh, Kasakawa. Oh, oh, oh! Wow, you, I I think I heard. Yes, I've definitely heard about you. Oh wow, this is. I mean, it's such an honor to. Um, so is that where you're coming from? You you had a a, a concert in in Kasakawa. Uh, yes, yes. Well, uh, I try to keep my traveling on the down low, you know. Oh, of course. I mean, I wouldn't. I mean, I wouldn't say anything to anybody. Um, think. Well, considering, I mean, you got saved to me, right? Like, I, I think exactly. I think. I, I would feel comfortable selling you guys this pretty gritty for, for um, uh, 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 much lower, much lower. I, brain, think, oh my god. <laughs> You're at 100 uh, gold. I still don't have that much. Mm, I'll, 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 I got you. I got you. Something in my gut tells me. Five hundred and one gold. <laughs> I don't got you that much. Uh, it's very hard to negotiate with Polly. Right, I have to school, so I don't know how to do math. I have I don't I know how the economy gold, works. But I don't have. I'm not about to spend all of it on a hurdy gurdy. I don't even have. <laughs> it. Why don't we go for the 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 sixty five gold? 65. How much is that off of 501? Oh, it's like only two. about... <laughs> like two. Yeah, oh. like two. We're practically... Like, it's a single <laughs> we're paying you at this rate. Uh, you hear Satoshi just... Uh, I mean, yeah, like, you're, you're, kind of, you're basically almost stealing it from her. 
and I'll make sure to spread your good name and your excellent craftsmanship wherever we go. So, I... Polly, I just had a kid. even works. I mean, uh, like... With... With the... Well, considering, you know, I'm doing... Can I mage hand slap Lo-Fi Boy around the back of the head? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Back to What's your charisma <laughs> modifier? Mine? Yeah. Uh, it's plus four. You just get like a hand, a warm hand smack you on the back of the head and you take five damage. <laughs> and then you see a fox standing on your shoulder. <laughs> okay, okay. He just looks at you. And then runs back so, to low. Okay, with okay, so let's let's think about this. So with the sixty-five dollars or gold, um, and also uh, protection from an oni and the Lo-Fi Boy sponsorship, that would probably knock the price down to about four hundred and two gold. Hundred and two. Where you get that number? <laughs> um, <God. laughs> Did you say God? From God? God? <laughs> Listen, I'm not, I'm not a religious man. Throw me out of the think... fucking bus right there. <laughs> There's the ECUs as well that we fought. Are you I don't want to be that guy, but like, aside from this deal that is going really awry, I thought I was coming into this with a strong hand, but... Uh, my passion for the hurdy-gurdy, I thought, okay. was going to carry most of this, but... But Polly, how about you? What, what would it take? What about a? Uh, so I just had a kid, right? You know, I'm a. I'm a oh mother. yeah, he is. He's. Uh, <laughs> he's <laughs> low on funds. Oh crap! Yeah. I. You know what? Uh, the single mom discount will probably bring that <laughs> down to three hundred and three gold. Oh, and you know, you are struggling to get rid of this hurdy gurdy, and you've got a hurdy gurdy player right here, someone who right knows here. what it is and knows how to play it. Who puts the baby in the fire? <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. It's so hard to get rid of. Sorry, that was an accident. But, <laughs> That's oh, Peach, fire. just there. Put the baby in the fire. Hmm. I mean, wouldn't like it, though. Build dirty, dirty player. We could probably knock that down to 204. Shit's going one higher. Okay, okay, wait. How much gold do you have, Randall? I'll, I'll pitch in 100 of that 204. Do you have a hundred gold? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what, y'all not? <laughs> y'all have kept... <laughs> I ain't person. telling you how much gold I've got. Um, I, I only have a hundred gold. I said I had fifteen. I was, now I feel really bad. <laughs> I I have only have a hundred gold. It's all my money, Polly. Alright? <laughs> That's all oh, I can do. We have to make sure you have times. We can. You, we really can't spend <laughs> all of our money. Yeah, we're going to go into town. We need to like pay for liver and stuff like that. I'll give you the sixty-five gold, Polly. Take it or leave with it. The, with the poverty, that's my down, final I think offer. We can knock that back down to a hundred gold. <laughs> Let's fucking check how much gold you fuckers have. <laughs> Well, I'm not gonna give you all of my hundred gold. So, Randall, we can do it. We can do like a, my gold. We need to do thirty-three. I don't know how much. I don't know if Lo-Fi Lo 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 is like pouting over there. So, I'm not positive what he's doing. But <laughs> instead, of, instead of this gold amount, to be how honest, I, I think room? he gave all his gold to a temple. So, I think he's broke. <laughs> oh, yeah, he did. <laughs> Let me Let me convince you of this. I have. I th I thought I okay. only had fifteen gold on me. It turns out. I actually have 18 copper pieces on me, and those are worth a lot of money. So, if, if you want to take that off of me. 18 copper pieces, eh? There's Says Polly never having learned about money. <laughs> are you so sure you should be flowers. a businesswoman? I'm just out of curiosity. Are you sure? Okay, sorry, <laughs> yeah, did, uh, did you say something, Rocky? I just like, are you sure you should be a business woman? I just, I don't know. Well, uh, my mom. I know to turn down this deal of eighteen. I'm gonna prove her wrong. Yeah. Oh, well, I think I think we her. should we should all sleep on this. I feel like before we make any financial decisions, we could just sleep. 
the I night. thought negotiations were going well. They're turning out pretty good for me now at this point, I feel. I, I look at Randall, I just like give him like the like eyes like what are you doing? Like this is our friend. <laughs> I don't know what a hurdy gurdy is even. Like, I don't know how much it's supposed to be worth. <laughs> Listen. I will give you yeah. fifty oh, gold no, on top of that go. eighteen copper. Uh, oh. a hurdy gurdy on Etsy is like four five thousand four hundred and twelve dollars right now, so it's pretty <laughs> up there. I will give you fifty gold at the price of a potion on top of the eighteen copper that uh, Randall's given you. I'm just that <laughs> is a steal. Okay, so fifteen gold, no eighteen voice. copper, a love five voice sponsorship. <laughs> He seems like in like chat can't see, but like Sam's just being like, I have this bouquet, three flowers, fifty gold each. I point at Lonico for that message. Oh, what about the private flowers show? Oh, oh, hello, my boy. Oh, one time. <laughs> oh my god. As Peach just starts uh, going and going, and then you see. Before I go to sleep, Peach. Yeah. Oh, we should put her to sleep. <laughs> well, okay. How about this? We got the 18 copper. We got the 50 gold. We got the lo-fi boy sponsorship. A couple of flowers. And you guys help me get out of here alive. Okay. Sounds good. I, I turned around. Sorry, how much was the deal? money amount out of that whole thing? You give her 18 copper. I give okay. her 50 gold. <laughs> she... Okay, if you're sure about it, I thought I think the 18 copper would be honestly good enough. But okay, I I I, I <laughs> okay yeah I'm sure about it, Randall. I'm positive. <laughs> Although 18 copper is plenty, I think the 50 gold would just be a nice little cherry on the ice cream sundae. So I, I'm for sure. I think. Hey, how about you just. You don't worry about showing your mom or anything. You just you just live. You don't need to bring this to your mother. <laughs> I, I never thought about this before. I don't need her validation. I That's can be right. my own woman. Yeah. Exactly. And I uh, I, I hand over the Stay um, out of forests though, you know. I say yeah, stay on like <laughs> Maybe main road. Go to the ocean next. No, I feel like that's not good. No. What, what's there no. for you? What's in the ocean for you, Polly? Uh, the instruments. Um, sea we'll, shanties. We'll put Maybe a you should in try it. and go to more populated places to sell the instruments, Polly. Oh my gosh, you're so smart! <laughs> I never thought of that one before. Oh, wait, Lonico, As she was making her way to Casa <laughs> Uh, okay, so I hand over the hurdy-gurdy to oh, Randall. Randall, point your inventory, hurdy-gurdy squared. Beautiful. Do we, uh... Do you want to describe now, it? Oh, sorry, Ron. Yeah, this, this hurdy-gurdy, um, it's made of beautiful pale wood, and it has, um, carvings of, like, uh, uh beautiful, like, vines and leaves on it, and... On the on the neck of the hurdy gurdy, the head where the tuning pegs in, uh, there is carved the face of an old man. He came to me in a dream. Not really sure, um, you know what his deal is, but I slapped him on there anyways. Uh, the hurdy gurdy has some interesting properties uh, that I don't remember what they are. Kaz, please help. It's magical. It's what the one. It's <laughs> magical, and definitely this old man has something to do with it. I hope uh, it treats you well. I will treat it with honor. Is that Mr. Otani? Is that? <laughs> is that? Is he the pretty nerdy? I'm not saying this is character. Okay. Well, but I don't know. <laughs> 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 this boy. Okay, I give uh, I give the fifty gold to. Thank you very much, my good sir. Yep, that's <clears> half <throat> of my earnings. All of the money I own. Huh? <laughs> Just me and Pete all alone in our home. 
I mean, I can take help, take help you, help you take care of Peach. I gave you the I'm single bit. I'm just being I don't dramatic. know what else you want from me. <laughs> I'm just being dramatic. Don't worry about it. I, I, I know y'all help. I mean, I don't even know how how much of. Can I adopt her? Or am, I, am I giving her to the state? Because I don't know how I feel about that. I, I got a lot of thing about tonight. I'll sure. I'll, I'll tell you that much. I mean, like, yeah, Lo I mean, Lo-Fi Boy, why don't you recite what happened on our trip now, finally? I'll, uh, I'll, uh, I'll, I'll do a little background hurdy guardian uh, to the, to your st to your story. Before you do that, do you, do you say that word for word, Sam, uh, Randall? Pretty much, I would say yes. Okay. Well, now everyone, roll for me a what? charisma save, what? except for Randall. Why is Rocky doing a charisma save? What are they doing? <laughs> is his playing that bad? <laughs> oh, and then actually, yeah. That 20 <laughs> Randall, nice roll me a performance check, please. Dear God, man. Oh, baby! Oh, shit! <laughs> <laughs> Beautiful. The one I wanted to fail. Can you. <laughs> <laughs> Can you also let's roll Yuki rolls one because they're active as well. And roll yeah, roll a straight D twenty for me. For Peach. Yeah. <laughs> Do you want me to uh, roll one for Yuki? Uh, Yuki got twenty three, so you're all good. Uh. But yeah, go on, start recounting your story. Oh, uh, I I'll get to that in a second. No worries. Um. So, in the ruins, there were four ACUs. They were crawling on the floor. One of them died by just exhaustion. Another fell in the river. The river led to this snake, worm, big skeleton thing as, in the river. As you start saying that, you have the sudden urge to just start dancing. <laughs> Roll me a performance check, please. Oh, no. Oh, oh no. Lo-Fi's greatest skill. <laughs> oh, my God. I'm the Pied Piper. Yeah, as, you, like, you're, as you're just playing your hurdy good, you right. just start going. And fucking Lo-Fi boy starts breaking it motherfucking down. <laughs> as he's retelling the story. Like, are you being as monotonous about it as, as possible? I, like, my <laughs> voice is, but my body language Yeah, your body it. language when is I on see... fire. With Yuki on top of you. Yuki's panicking. I, I do like the worm on the floor when I say the snake thing. Like, <laughs> <laughs> I'm enacting the ACUs. <laughs> like crawling on the floor and dying. But like I try to die like on beat with like. Yeah. Like kind of like Vogue like you know like. So Tosha she starts falling. clapping. Do you do a death drop? <laughs> Yeah. Yeah, yeah, that's right. <laughs> and fucking Peaches is also like just wiggling as like as you're holding a rocky as she's also dancing along. Alright. <laughs> uh, 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 <laughs> yeah, Lofi was fucking you like he, he normally creaks, but like right now he is Oh he's uh, doing the robot. <laughs> <laughs> that's what a Kanye dance movie does. <laughs> So we and then we flew uh, 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 top of on top of them, um, and we uh, sneakily caught up to the last one and killed it. And I, I do this twirl and like moving my arms, like flying and and like a final like kill into the thing. And then uh, swoosh movements of flames. Um, we saw a fire across the hall. And the birds, and then like I open my mouth and again fly. Uh, the the crows all gathered around the fire, but didn't notice us. And so I do like hand movements in front of my eyes, like being sneaky. When and so we flew back. <laughs> when you mention the crows, you see Yuki jump out of Lofi Boy's mouth, but like using his uh, tail to like replicate wings, because Yuki's also got into the performance. Wow. And. The, there was an ACU, I forgot to mention, the first time that we saw the dead snake, giant thing, skeleton, uh, but that one disappeared, and we, 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 we came back, we're, we're here, and is Randall still playing? 
And uh, yeah, I close out with a with a banger of a solo. <laughs> <laughs> and yeah, Love Hyper was just going to the solo still. Completely preoccupied with nothing else but dance. <clears throat> but so yeah, there's another one in there apparently. We forgot to kill it. We didn't have a lot of time with that leg, and then the, the crow thing was pretty stunted. As sorry, go on. They seemed dangerous compared to the other ones. As but you, I don't know. As you say that, you hear something get pulled by the waters as you see the arm of the mech come flying down the river now as well. And it just gets Wait, pulled. The arm of the mech from earlier gets pulled away. And like you just you see it floating along the stream. As would you guys like a short rest? Was that like what you guys were doing? Also, like, is that like what you want a long rest? Yeah, short rest. Uh, I mean, I, mm. I'm I'm not opposed to a long rest, but uh, <laughs> I mean, rest. I would get my stuff back uh, that I've lost unless we do a long rest. But I can mm. do a short rest if we need to. I mean, I can long if, rest. If we if we if we, if we, ha if we have some oh, on watch, yeah. we can we should be fine. I think. We I have could, some what? I'd be okay with staying here too for a while. Yeah. Yeah. Who's would like to go on the first watch then? Uh, I mean, I I can. I'm fine with that. All right. When you go on the watch, uh, Satoshi will take Peach's Peach away from you and like take it like a cradle them as well and like just tend to them. Um, okay. If you just so you don't have to like be carrying the baby all the time. Um, Sounds good. Yeah, if you want to roll me a d12, and then... Who else would like the next? Yeah, d12. Also, I, I take the sword back from uh, that I gave to Satoshi. A 10. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, Satoshi would give you the sword back. And who wants to take the second watch? I can take the second watch. Mm -hmm. If you want to roll a d12 as well. Ten good, ten bad. Eight. Eight. Alright, you don't need to worry about those rolls. Um, you guys <laughs> sleep comfortably, like, on, like, as you look, you camp in out. Um, with the ash falling from the sky, it does make it a bit difficult to, like, breathe every now and then. But, like, with the trees overhead, you guys are, it's like you say, as cover. And Satoshi every now and then is, like, wafting them away with some of their magic as, like, they're just tending to the baby. And just um, playing with them as well. Yuki curled around um, around Jilo and Nico before they go to sleep, um, <clears throat> and um, if if any of you guys want any like uh, evening moments before you guys go to sleep, you can. But if not, you guys all uh, would be able to hit the long rest button and have a sleep. It should be uh, if you see your floors, bonds, and stuff like that on the right side of your sheet. Oh yes. You should be able to hit the long rest button. It should reset everything that like is used. Um, mm -hmm. Should. I'm back. Yeah. No it. Yeah, you guys can take a long rest if you wanted to like have a conversation or anything with anyone like while you guys can. Uh. I think Randall will just like before laying, before properly going down to sleep, before waking up for his watch later, mm -hmm. play a little bit of the hurdy gurdy just before falling asleep to it. It's <laughs> all dancing again. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, how loud are you playing? It's just, it's just quietly casual. Rocky, roll me a uh, charisma check. That's a Christmas check. Oh, God damn. I'm, uh, I'm not good at it, but. Uh, this hurdy gurdy is cursed. And roll me it's a, a hurdy kirsty. Oh no! <laughs> Romeo performance. Uh, See, we are cut from the same rock. Romeo performance uh, check, uh, Randall. Uh, okay. That's what that does. <laughs> As Randall Wait, is like, your instruments. Randall's like almost like tuning never it. it. Randall's like just tuning it, checking it, and like making sure like all the notes and like all the strings are, like on a perfectly fine pitch and stuff. Fucking Rocky's losing it. Rocky's fucking <laughs> Rocky's on the floor <laughs> spinning around. He's not. He ain't having a great time. Romeo performance. As he just starts dancing. <laughs> this is so whack. <laughs> <laughs> what do you mean that performance check, Rocky? 
You want me to do a performance as well? Yeah, yeah. No, no, yeah, just you, yeah. Oh, you said Randall earlier. Oh, sorry, That's sorry. Why. Sorry. <laughs> Oh, yeah, no, and you're yeah. killing it! Do you see Rocky? Yeah, Rocky's like fucking. He just. What? What's your favorite type of dancer, Rocky? I do an Irish jig. I don't know. Actually, no. I do a. Uh, what's the 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 southern um, square dancing? I do square yeah. dancing. He starts square. Yeah. My boy starts square dancing. To, um... to me tuning my hurdy gurdy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> square dancing to the hurdy gurdy square. Did that see? Yeah. It's... That's the squarest dance I've ever seen. Wow. <laughs> My boy's never That's been amazing. more Cuban his entire life. You're all squares because you're not around. That's for sure. <laughs> yeah, he's going. Um, but like, after like he's done his tuning, you guys can all like you have your watches and your rests. Lo, Nico. While you are. Could, could I talk with Lo, Nico? Actually. Yeah, go ahead. Yeah, go ahead. Before before, before she sleeps. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, I point to uh, little Nico and, and like tell her to come here. Um, so I just kind of like kick the the sticks on the ground. Um, He's want to show yeah. you beat up fucking sticks. <laughs> 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 Look what I can do. <laughs> no, <laughs> it's just things are happening really fast, and we're already, you know, doing so many things. And you know, we didn't get to talk after that night. That where you fell into the other world and everything. I. I just wanted to check in on you. Are you are you, are you okay? She kind of like looks down um, at her feet, um, and she's like, "But I, I'm worried it'll happen again. I had no control over it, and." What if we get to the village and it happens again and I end up attacking not just you guys but innocent people of the public? What if... I don't know how to prevent it. Or if it would happen again or if those were just extreme circumstances. That's a fair point, but oh, like I understand your concern. I think I think it's okay to be scared about things that we don't understand, and you know, maybe maybe the next time something like that happens, we will be able to, you know prepare for it a bit more, or, you know, you always have us around also to try to take care of things, you know? I, I understand that, like, if it just happened suddenly, but, you know, a child just happened suddenly also, <laughs> there's, there's no point in wasting your energy on a future we can't predict, right? Right, uh, Lofa boy, there's actually something else I've been worried about. What would that be? Before my soul was taken to the other world and fell through the weed, I, I heard my parents' voices and my temples on the border of Kangala, and I've just been trying not to think about it, but I I'm worried something happened to them. I don't know why else I would be able to hear their voice telling me old Altani wants to meet me. Uh, I, I suppose the hearing Rocky and Captain Satoshi talk about, well, 
parents and all that sort of stuff. Just, I'm worried about them. Lofibro would kind of just like <laughs> look at little Nico, not so sure what to say here. I think. It's okay, look, I just... Uh, I no, know no, there's but... nothing we can do. They're so far away, after all. Uh, it's just been playing on my mind, is, is all. I know. I, I mean, just us being here in Kasakawa, just... I'm looking, you know, running after someone that, like... I'm not even sure if they're still here. Like... What I what I've learned through loss so far in my life is that there's part of it which isn't lost. Whatever happened to your parents in whatever situation that they're in, for better or for worse, the memories you have of them, that's yours what they gave to you to help you become who you are that stays on and no one can take that away from you no matter what happens her hands were probably sort of pulled in her her skirt um, and when Lo-Fi Boy mentions what they've given to Loniko her, she'd probably like touch her mask um, on her face um, and then give him a quick hug <laughs> mm -hmm. oh obviously the fiber would hug back <laughs> <laughs> uh, thank you Lofi boy I, I don't want to worry the others too much you know they've been through a lot recently Mm-hmm. I mean, we all have, but don't, don't ever feel afraid to talk about things like that. It's, we're all going through this together, so you can always count on me, on, on anyone here. Right. And she's just gonna, like, give a firm nod, and then head back if there's nothing else. And I would just give it like a like final head pat. <laughs> <laughs> I think for a couple of hours before she like sleeps, Lo would probably start sketching in her sketchbook. Mm -hmm. um, she'd draw her parents to the best of her memory. Um, and then on the next page start drawing Moran and Kano, and what little she can, kind of, what she got of Taya, mm -hmm. um, just for a couple of hours before she goes to sleep. And that's where we can end the session. Ooh. Big feelings. Many. <laughs> mm hmm. But yeah, um, thank you guys for playing. Thank you for um, being here. And those in <laughs> chat, <laughs> thank you for being here and lurking. Rovel, I did use your uh, lair action and your uh, redemption. I didn't add any narrative impact from uh, or descriptions from them, but like, no, that I, they were used. Thank you for using them. Uh, we, I do appreciate you guys helping me add to the sessions. And um, yeah, uh, hopefully we'll see you guys soon. Uh, next week, hopefully. Uh, I'm hoping to get a session once a once a uh, once a week up until um, we break up for our Christmas break. Uh, but break we'll, up. <laughs> but we will uh, <laughs> we will let you know uh, when we do go live in the Discord. 
and on my various social uh, medias. Um, I'm going to look for someone to raid if you guys want to start shouting yourselves out. Um, we can start with our guest, if you would like to. Lucy. Oh, that's me. Um, <laughs> uh, yeah. Hi, I play Polly, like I said earlier. I stream over uh, on Twitch um, at I'm Sorry Lucille, and I have a very lovely podcast with the beautiful and amazing uh, Remove Sam. It's called We're So Fucking Sorry. Uh, and if you want to hear um, two dumbasses talk about nothing for an hour straight, it's a it's every Sunday, uh, and we're on a lot of different platforms. Yeah, that's it. Mm -hmm. There's your shout. So yeah, go check out Lucy. Go support her. She, we hopefully will have her for a few more sessions. Um, while the group are still in Otani Forest and making their way to uh, the uh, the town or the village, sorry. Next up is Georgia. Uh, hello, um, I made jewelry and the Georgia Mar jewelry. There are pieces based off of uh, weapons and swords and armor, and I have a D and D collection that has some plus themed things just a few at the moment and some dragons uh so if you could check those out and have a look that would be greatly appreciated mm -hmm. next is rocky hey everybody my name is uh piper uh on twitch p-l-p-e-r i do streams uh sporadically but if you want to see me a bit more consistently um I, I say that, but it's not quite yet. Uh, I have a podcast called Just Very Mundane. We have something new and exciting happening this January. Uh, we are on a little hiatus until then. Um, but you can follow the, uh, the YouTube, which is, should all be linked under the link tree, as well as my other YouTube, which um, I have some videos planned for next year as well. Um, I also do a card game, or I've made a card game that I'm trying to gather support for right now called uh, uh, All Hail the Goblin King. Uh, it's at the Goblin King game on Instagram. Uh, once I get enough support there, my plan is to do a Kickstarter. But until then, you could just see the art and learn more about the game. Mm -hmm. And finally, hi Ricky. Uh, finally, Randall of McClunky Squadron. Sam. <laughs> Yo, I'm Sam from McClunky Squadron. We do D and D on Fridays typically, and we discuss TV shows that we're watching. Next, we're gonna be doing and our episode twelve on Friday. At 12, no. check us out. Yeah, no, but it's finally over, Kaz. It's finally, finally. Over. we don't have to talk about it after that. And yeah, check us out, McClunky. McClunky. Um, but yeah, that's all the things on um to check out. Uh go support everyone they do amazing stuff we are going to raid into dead aussie gamer um they're playing a pathfinder campaign and i'm gonna just uh i'm gonna send them a vibe check so if you are following um or if you're subbed you can use the the breakdance in lows if you are unsubbed but still want to join in the raid you can hit them with uh, the heart uh, the purple hearts Thank you guys for being here. Thank you guys for playing. And chat, we hope you look forward to next session um, where they uh, will continue their journey through Otani Forest. Yeah. Bye. Yep. Bye. 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 Yeah, really?
maybe not because I've got follow only on. Uh, so we're gonna we're gonna pick someone else. Um, but yeah, I'll get that raid sorted. See you guys in a hot second. Well, yeah, thank you for. Oh well, I'll see you in a hot second. But see you guys next stream hopefully. Thanks for stopping by.